Hey, hi, so this is a content warning, sadly we need to do one of these here. Um, there's a bit of a, a torture scene that happens, it definitely starts to go that way. Um, someone in the group was not very happy with that going on, they messaged me and I immediately correct that course, steer it off elsewhere and I'm like, you know, hey, mm -mm, I don't outright say it, but I move it enough that it can be obviously seen. So yeah, I'm um, going to put a little mark down that at the bottom. There is a few less people here than normal. So that's probably why that idea got through and I'm just happy to let people do it. But as soon as someone says something, it's a case of move that on, which we've done, which we do. So yeah, uh, it's in the chapters that you can just kind of skip that section, skip that particular bit. Um, it's a very small section, I'd say about maybe three minutes or so, which is good. Um, so yeah, don't need to worry about that. So let's pick up this session with a recap. Gark was supposed to do the recap. Again? Oh, Jesus Christ. I specifically said, we'll have you do the recap next session. <laughs> he ain't here to do the recap. <laughs> so, Pepsi, you're the closest thing to Gark. Hey! I take that, isn't it? I'm kidding. I'd be offended. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm going to do this fast and dirty. Uh, let's see. Like what sense. happened last session? We were... <laughs> God damn it. Okay, short and sweet of it. We dragged Fabius, like Fabius Krieg life. out of the sewers after uh, exploring it a bit more before heading back up into the manor. We invade the, the kitchen where the kitchen lady's like, I don't see nothing! I don't see nothing! While Griffin stands there, menacingly, waiting for food that will never come. And then, uh, Zarda, uh, Corby fulfills his end of the bargain as he takes, um, the Rat Mafia's hit on, uh, Skrunglebong, or whatever his name was, <laughs> and takes out the cat. The rats swarm. Opal loses their cat. By the way, we found Opal. Uh, they were in the jail cell. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Anyways, we continue searching around, uh... Cor Corby tries to pass, off, pass us off as renovation as we're dripping with the blood of slain cultists. <laughs> Perfectly normal for renovators. Then we decide to head up anyway. Uh, alarm bells are rung and guards are summoned. We absolutely body all but one of them who decides to jump out the fucking window and survives on like two hit points. If anything, he deserves to live. He should be the main character now. Anyways. And then we search the room. We find out Amrick's emo. Mortlock has very bare bones um, rooms, which just makes me sad for him. And then we find Thirstwell. Thrustwell, whatever his name is. He certainly doesn't thrust well since he's sick and dead. <laughs> um, anyways, we try to kidnap him as he's being creepy with a puzzle. Uh, we go on a bit of a back and forth of killing him, reviving him, killing him, reviving him, and then he gets killed by Griffin, who I think Gark is like three for three for killing every single witness we've been trying to detain. And then we let us left off trying to take a bit of a breather. Let's see, so I'm gonna quickly throw these on here. Uh... Oh yeah, I found a homicidal shield. That's about it. And then... Where'd Corby go? There's Corby. Boop. There we go. There's all the inspirations. That's close up. I'll be honest. I was really sad that the emo's not dead short did not do as well as it could have. I have found that very, very funny. But yeah. When I was a young boy. I was <sighs> we all make fun of Amrick, and we all know it. <laughs> My guy, I I listened to Bring Me the Horizon. Like, Dude, Bring Me the Horizon is so good uh, live. Ah, yeah, they were. They were. Mm. As opposed to Dead. <laughs> Ice Nine Kells were also good, but let's let's not get into my musical tastes. We'll be here a while. <laughs> yeah. So you stand here now, and I'll look at mine. Nice hallway of this nice manor. A body floating dead in a bathtub. 
an infernal puzzle cube in Jackin's hand with a overweight man slung over the shoulder. Grifton makes Grifton noises. I don't know the type of noises that... <laughs> um, uh, can't say that. <laughs> I don't know the type of noises that children make. But yeah. As Corby is giving out a few little things to people here and there. See ya. Uh, What's the play? Can we go one day without murdering a, a sus? Uh, can we not go one day without murdering a person we need to bring in for interrogation? Yeah, can I loot this chest? That was a. Uh, yeah. Uh, bum, 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 bum. <sighs> I forgot that I'm actually further back in here than I should have been. Uh. 2, 16, 14. Ah! Okay. Uh. Cool. Ah, uh, if you've got Thieves tools, yeah. There's a little padlock on it. Yeah, time to break the padlock. Uh. With what? Um, a hammer. Check. Uh, give me a strength check. Or athletic, whichever one is better for yourself. <clears throat> this is something. Well, he's gonna bring it on. He's all here that smashing of the hammer against the wooden metal, but it remains as was. Very strong padlock. Hmm. Pepsi. Okay, yes. into the balcony, into the rain. Open. What's in this a room? Door. This particular room here has an oak writing desk angled to face the middle of the room with a matching chair behind it and two black candlesticks atop it. Other furnishings include three bookcases, a freestanding suit of black plate armour topped with a bucket helmet and equipped with a long sword and shield, a wrought iron spiral staircase leads upstairs. Yeah, that probably shouldn't go up without the others. Uh, can I start examining the contents of this um, desk? Yeah. So you take a little look. Not too much in there. Different quills, some broken, some new ink bottles emptied and dried different colors and such doesn't seem to be too much on here any work that was being done seems to be seems to have been completed before the room was vacated mm. are there any like documents or papers on these shelves or are these just books and books these are bookcases um uh, quick cursory glance around uh Moderate line of literature, fine literature around. Uh, hazard guess there's over a hundred books here. There are a few, no, that's... few odd ones here and there, such as a weird book, the Lusty Lizard Man, or Marl Kirk's Guide to Mind Flayer Communism. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. Is there anything odd about this statue, considering the statue we found in the cultist area? Any, like, spicy mechanisms for anything? Whoops. Mm. Let's take a little look. It is hollow by all other points. Hollow? You got investigation, perception. Okay. Let me see here. Twitch ones. Let's now look at your sheet. Perception plus two, investigation. There it is. Oh. This is a wait, weird... I, I got inspiration. Wait, wait, wait. I got inspiration from last thing, right? Yep. I don't want to use it just because I, I want to I know. Let's see if it works. Okay. Get it! Eight minutes. <laughs> Eight minutes and he's used it. As you take a little read at this, looking around, you don't understand the language that's, you know, hammered into it. It's a weird cursive 
Not elvish, <laughs> not common. As mm -hmm. it does, however, you watch as it. Ting! I'm gonna have to ask you to roll initiative, my friend. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, as the initiative breaks out, can I just yell, God damn it! Yep. That is all you all hear. <laughs> oh shit, I made you invisible. God, I'm making people invisible as so I'm trying to make the horror visible. Oh god, god, it's that thing! Creature! <laughs> Uh, do, do I get to keep its armor if it dies? <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll play that game. We'll see. <laughs> My brother in Christ, do you have enough fucking proficiencies? Tinkerers, tea, thieves, gaming, land vehicles, alchemists, wood carvers, smiths' tools. Are you a bard? Yeah. No, I'm an artificer. Oh god, yeah, no. It's their thing. <laughs> they, I'm they a tool, tool monkey. First of all, you're the only one missing from initiative. My bad. That's right. Uh... Oh, let's get a new song going. Something fun and different. Nah, fuck that. Playing the same shit. I'm like BBC Radio 1. I'm going to play the five songs in loop. Stop. Yeah, I'm not supposed to have us off as the helm Tor. You were in there enough looking at it that it doesn't have any form of surprise or advantage upon yourself. Uh, oh, fuck me. So you're fine. As I don't feel safe. Well, however. Hmm. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and take two little. Two little uh, attacks with its long sword and in towards yourself. Uh, 21 for 7. 21 for 7. Uh, I would like to use shield. Alright, he's gonna come in. <laughs> Jackin! Alright, my AC is 24 till, the, till my turn. <laughs> um, can I pick up this chest? Yeah, yeah, it's 40 pounds, it's quite heavy, but, uh, it's fine for yourself, yeah. Not encumbered at the moment. Uh, can I hear what general direction this is happening? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you hear it coming from the east. Uh, I'm going to use dash action. Yeah. Okay. Back up. There we go. Boom. It? Yep. Uh, now you're fine. There. Yep. Don't worry. As you kind of look in, you can see this suit of armor attacking your friend. My mute friend, could you help me? Don't know if you're trying to. Uh, I'm gonna use hacks. No, whatever. I can't. Never mind. It's okay. That's my turn. Opal. <sighs> Sounds like somebody got themselves into trouble again. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I guess I'll also take the, uh, the dash action into the room over yeah. here. You, know, you can hear the noise coming from the south. Ah, uh, okay. Then I know you're done. Um. Do, 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 do. Nope. Okay. Corpus Maximus, Scorby. <coughs> Um, there's no one, like, at the bottom of the stairs that I can see over the balcony, is there? No sound down that way. No, no one seems to be coming up. Okay, I'm moving. Oh, and I will shoot at the, uh, mm -hmm. armor that's attacking him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Nain will miss. That's it. It's my turn. Okay. First of all. Oh, uh, I have to make my way here. Oh, uh, how much was that? That was 30, so, 
can use my polo. There we go. You can use how much is the dash? How the much dash is that doubles again? it, so that would give you sixty foot. Okay. I can do. <laughs> okay, so we're in here. Great. So that's all that I can do, really. I don't think so, right? Okay. Uh, Grifton will make Grifton noises, I suppose. Ah. <laughs> this is my Grifton impression. Um, you just can't understand it because he doesn't speak common, so, you know, blithering, blithering idiot. Rupert. Alright, uh. Point blank blast in. I roll a disadvantage, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, plus, I'm assuming a 12 misses. A 12 misses, yes. Well, lucky for me, that's just my bonus action. Uh, my main action is disengage. <laughs> Should have done that first, but I was panicking. Anyways, uh, let's just five. Please tell me this door is unlocked. Oh, thank God. <laughs> uh, evil, evil armor man. Fuck. And uh, I'm going to run back here. That's my turn. Good thing. Elm Toro. Walk forth. <laughs> Did you just Close call me the evil door. and misgender me? No, the armor thing in the back room. Did you not see it? No. That Don't took, worry, you're nice that took me a moment. That took me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> that took me longer than I wanted to admit. <laughs> so Don't uh, worry, you're a lot more pleasant. <laughs> long sword once more. We'll take a swing. Farcible and then Jackin. Uh, Farcible 17 for 9. Jackin 20 for 8. Jesus. Uh, that'd be opportunity to attack as well, would it? Uh, should be. Yep. Five seconds. No, it's his uh, sentinel thing. Uh, 16 will miss and... Yeah, 16 will miss, yeah. So, uh, da 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 First of all, I'm checking ACs. First of all, you're 13. So, bish bash bosh. And Jacken is an 18. Schwing schwang schwang. I'm making noises because I'm fun. <laughs> Jacken! Uh, bonus action, I'm gonna bestow curse. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hit that. Yeah. A high speed curse, sorry. Okay. That was a bonus action the entire time. Yeah. So. Does it automatically apply it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It automatically applies, so I just need to keep track of everything on there. Next place card 17. Again, damage. You gain bonus damage to your rolls against a creature. Equals proficiency. Uh. 17 will miss, sadly. Oh, okay. That's my turn. Oh. Um, let's see. I saw them come out of this door. So, Wait, did, uh, the, did the horror close the door? It ain't dumb. <laughs> Fair so enough. So, I open the door. Yep. Oh, it doesn't, it says it's not being reached. It's because of, it's because of the fucking walls in these maps. Apologies. Oh, there! Oh, I walked past it because I thought it was east. So yeah. Oh no, I have line of sight on it. Um. So that changes a few things. Uh, do 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 do. Let me look at my spells. I do not have much. Uh, and I'm gonna cast a. Actually, I'm gonna be silly. I'm gonna use my channel divinity to cast a. Do I have to call out that I'm using my channel divinity before or after I hit it? If What's the channel it? divinity? The uh, destructive wrath, max damage. Uh, yeah. So I would have to roll. <laughs> yeah. So like you roll damage after hitting, right? When you roll lightning or thunder damage, you can use your channel divinity to build the maximum instead of the rolling. Uh, so with that one there. It's you need to know whether or not the attack hits her first, and then it, by the habit reads, you make the attack, and then you choose. Yeah. So I'm gonna do thunder damage, uh, chromatic orb. Yep. 
You sure about that? Uh, <laughs> inspirations. Ah! Oh, I should have cast it at the second level. Whoops, I mean, wait. <laughs> oh well. Uh, whatever. I tried. Did I know it's your turn? Uh, I step back out of line of sight. Remember, crying is free. I don't have tear ducts. No, you have to pay me 20 bucks. Corby. To the south, is that like a, a wall, a railing, at yep. the windows? That is a, a railing. Uh, remember the front of the house? There was the two yeah. rooms in the back in there. You are seeing just over boulders. You can see like guards still on their little patrol, just kind of looking up. <laughs> you know. roughly, roughly how tall is the, the railing? Oh, no, you ask. Uh, I'd go ahead and say it's probably going to be about... Teddy height? Let's go with that, yeah. So, three quarters cover. And how tall is this horror thing? Uh, let's call it six foot. Just like okay. button six foot. Well, I'll take another arrow and try and shoot it again. 24 for six, well hit. You can and then, yep. I'd like him to make a strength saving throw as I, my uh, raven swarm over him and try and pull him over the, over the railing. So <laughs> 15 foot straight south. He succeeds. Oh, shit. So you hit him, your arrow goes in. Uh, it doesn't do the additional damage, correct? No. No. Okay. I use... He's gonna take that. He watches the arrow, doesn't do just as much as you think it would. And you hear that teeny watch, it goes in and necks a little before the swarm pushes and just... They move in the horror, it seems to... Straight back into place. Did it else your turn? No, that's my turn. Yes, so... Uh, I'm getting the fuck away, first of all. Um, move out. Well, I'm like fucking half dead, so. Try to 18 for Backwards. Seven. Great. Opportunity attack. Sadly, you're gonna move through and. I just gotta move you back a little bit to here as you. Well, to here it would be. As the slash comes in and you. Well, point out, um, you can use inspiration on death saves. I'm such a nice person like that. <laughs> uh, my boy! <laughs> no, my boy! Get away! <laughs> so, uh, let me just quickly rate oh, up my your boy. table. Pass, fail, always. Find a way to keep track of death saves myself. Oh. If you die, I'm gonna have to figure out how to reanimate people. <laughs> oh, God. Don't even say that. Right? Grifton will <laughs> walk in, giving it the. Are know. you sure Clark's not here? Are you sure he's not here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so much temptation to be like, oh yeah, it, it, it's it does the crazy frog as it comes in, going ding 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 ding. But uh. <laughs> so we'll uh, take his mace and be like, it sounded like Rocky from. Rocky one. Uh, that's a nat one. Wow. Um, what wow, is this? Sir. Some Delphi campaign? Uh, we got a game this week. Yeah, but I mean, we missed all our rolls so far, so. Oh, I thought you said when. <laughs> no. <laughs> Rupa. Uh, 5, 10, 15. My boy! 20. Alright, uh, first, let's see here, uh, spare the dying on Parsival. Parsival, you are, uh, how they say, stable. His hand Great. starts glowing red and you get slapped across the face. Oh, Stop dying. wonderful. How tender, how loving. Bedside <laughs> manner is impeccable. I don't call this move eight, my bedside manner is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. The good doctor over here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let me get my gun out. I'm just imagining you shouting, I am an artificer. <laughs> <laughs> I am a sturgeon. <laughs> Alright, um, I started blasting at the hell of uh, horror. What? <laughs> sure about that. I mean, he blasted, didn't mean to hit, but he certainly tried. 
<laughs> just some guy <laughs> over the side. Ah, oh, the Van Zampers seem to be having a party here. <laughs> yeah, they just hear something getting smashed. <laughs> Does anything else to turn? We're time for a fireworks display, but you know. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I saved my boy. <laughs> Helm Potter will go ahead. It will take a slash at Jackin and then at Grifton, slashing Jackin, slashing Grifton. Jackin, 21 for 10. Yeah. Okay. And I already know that that hits the boy Grifton. I'm getting Shrek movie flashbacks. Jackin. Uh, I'm gonna. Attempt to hit the creature with my longsword. Rock em, sock em, robot. You guys, you guys know what we forgot to do? What? Because Gark isn't here, we forgot to take that short rest. It's his own fault. I told, I told them put to, it in the notes chat. Yeah, I told them to put it in the actual end game chat as well. Uh. We can take it after. Just this. reminded <laughs> me. Uh, twenty one four seven will hit. I was, you know. 21 for 7 will hit, and you watch that, it's very quite powerful. And I'm gonna... Divine Smite. Rock. Calm spoken paladin fucking... I'm gonna Divine Smite. I'm just gonna smite him, guys. <laughs> it's... No, it's, it's nothing major. Um, I would oh like a little God. smite with my wine. Ooh. Mm. No. Wrath of God on my hits period, perhaps? Let's, a a Man, real vintage. God. <laughs> Man, God is just not feeling it today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a one and a two. That is brutal. That's crazy. <laughs> that was God time. really said, eh, I'm it. not feeling that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh. Tell me, is your God feeling it? Are you feeling it now, um, Mr. Krabs? I'm How are you feeling it now, <laughs> Mr. Chris? Where is, is Parsifal? Uh, uh, no, not Parsifal. The, the person that went down. Parsifal. Other end of the door. Parsifal. <laughs> On the ground. Wait, like, gaping? I'm like, fine. uh... Up here. Ah, okay. You probably heard a slap. <laughs> yeah, I, I step in a little further. There we go. Now I have line of sight. Uh... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, great heavens. You guys got yourself in trouble again, huh? Second level healing word on uh, Tarshavul. Oh, how kind. Seven is you. Yeah, kids. Oh, yay. My, my, I, I assume you come back a week. I yeah. assume that's what it would be. No rule says otherwise, to my knowledge. And then... You just I, have a slap. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, Firebolt is my action. Firebolt. No, I'm not. Fuck that. <laughs> you, whoops, you know, it's the back end of the chimneys. You watch, still a little bit more smoke rises up. Did it else your turn? Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna. Mm, that's risky. Fuck it. Oh, run away. A classic. I was gonna go to hide, but I have direct line of sight on him. <laughs> 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 I'm in danger! Stand so still that they can't see you. Yeah, I just... He's like I, just I just take the position of, like, a, an armor suit. <laughs> I too can pretend to be one of you. <laughs> How do you do, fellow constructs? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, same thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 16 for 5 is a no go, sadly. Okay. Anything else? No. Fast wall. Face okay, down in the finally... ground. Can finally move away. Okay, and now. Sorry, you have a slap on your face. Over you okay? next to Corby. <laughs> what? You're prone, so you've rolled over next to Corby. Combat yeah. roll. <laughs> uh, 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 cast a great. That would be a disadvantage because you haven't said you stood up. Uh, but a thirteen will still miss because you boom, smash up the walls. You watch as parts of the stone shatter off. 
Did it announce your turn? Uh, no, not this one. Okay. Nope. Uh, Gwiftan will be like, you know. And smash 14 for 8. It's not looking good, bruv. Uh, Pepsi, Ripper. No, I just realized Raya isn't in the initiative. <laughs> roll around. I have control over her. Uh, I'll so roll around with, yeah, there we go. Roll around with disadvantage, and she's managed to come straight after you at the bottom of the queue, so like, she's up next. Lovely. Well, I don't have her sh control over sheep, so good luck. Anyway, you did. Uh, not anymore. Oh. Because I got turned off at some point. Uh. No, you fuck it. We. I, I don't have. I don't see it. Just double click oh, the token. Like... Yeah. Okay, I found it. It's yeah. All right, noted. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna cast Fairy Fire. As you see, Rupert shove sh shove around in his like satchel, pull up this um weird purple orb, and just says. <laughs> it just throws it at the um <laughs> Elm Horror. Uh, like so. Ooh. He needs to make a dexterity save. He fails. Alright, so... so he is now covered in glowing glitter. And the attacks have advantage on him. Did I know you not... You're only doing this now. <laughs> I was panicking, okay? Bro is not winning the gay allegations. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had it in my inventory, okay? She just sounds so passive aggressive that you're only doing that. No. <laughs> okay, you know what? Screw you. A uh, force cannon at, at. Yeah, yeah, force cannon. Anyways. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Did it? No, it's your turn. I should have. I should have never left stop. I should have never left the gate. Anyways, that's it. Oh, I hit end at the same time as you. Don't worry, happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Echo for Rhea's turn now. Yep. Yeah, uh, finally, I'm realizing there's commotion going on. She's deaf in that ear, mate. She's deaf in that ear. <laughs> she got sick of li listening to our murder. <laughs> You said it's difficult terrain to move through a person? Uh, or? yeah, but uh, I think you could technically slip by. Uh, either way, sorry, we'd be fine. Alright, uh, heavy crossbow. Ah, a classic. I started blasting at advantage, please hit. You can, hold, you can hold shift when you click it to roll advantage normally, mate. Oh, I didn't know that, I was just sure. using the plus. Anyways. You fire from 14 to hit. Mess. And I thought I was a terrible shot. Anyways, that's it. <sighs> right. Well, shit. Ah, whew. Advantage we miss. Uh. Hail and Potter, we'll just. Fight to the death in a fun and weird way. Fat, wait, strike a pose because they're covered in fabulous glitter. Ah! <laughs> I ain't doing much to help myself here, I'll be honest. I am not doing much to help myself here. <laughs> it will go ahead into yourself there, Q, and it's just going to try and shove you. Just push you out the road. It's a uh, strength, uh, athletics. Or acrobatics, strength, dex, whichever is best for you at this moment in time. Um, strength. Yeah, so it kind of pushes on towards you, and you kind of just flop as it. Hmm. Really not beating those allegations for Jack him. Uh, I'm gonna stand up. No, you weren't pushed. You were fine. Uh, you oh, saved, I saved it. it. I saved it. Yep. Oh, okay, got gotcha. you. Um, fuck. I don't know what to do here. Um, 
Can I, like, disengage? Yep. Let's get up, man. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, can I attempt? This is probably stupid, but can I attempt to open up the cube? Sure. As an item, as an mm -hmm. item interaction. Roll an intelligence check for me. This feels like a bad idea, but I'm the one who took the evil I, shield. You see, you see, here's the thing. I I remember his comment very specifically was, "I've seen Hellraiser." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so I can see where he's going with this. <laughs> see. Just gotta get the page with its details, because there is it's an intelligence check, then after that it's um whatever happens next. Which I'll know in a moment once I get to the right page. Do you have to do it next to me? <laughs> <laughs> do you have any modifiers to your investigation specifically? Uh investigations. You don't, so it's Still flat at sixteen. It was just in case it was a, it was intelligence based, but it's investigation. Okay, uh, right. Make me a wisdom saving throw, please, mate. Sure. Oh no. Oh no. I swear to God, if this is how we die. As you start to fiddle with the box, as it does, it. As you feel your mind start to crumble, oh, that's great. you try that's great. to fight it. You. Fail fighting it. Now, I've already let you do this, so I'm going to be very generous. As you're supposed to spend an hour to try and open it, but you're trying to open it in a hurry. So, whilst you failed, this time round, um, this time round you only take 35 points of necrotic damage. Only. Only? Only. As you watch the box, <laughs> and you watch as Jack and immediately collapses the box. The and mute falls. is down! The mute is down! That's, that's <laughs> not auto death, is it? No. Uh, it would have been if it was double his hit points. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna change this G as T F to a G. I think Pinhead got him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, for some reason they decided to start doing electronic like Electra right around me and she's fucking fucking up. So there's a lot of yelling around me. Uh so if I have background noise just you know you probably forget. Uh where did he go down? In the hallway. Oh <laughs> over here. Ooh. I only have two spell slots left, by the way. Just FYI, in case you want to do something incredibly stupid, I'm running low. Uh... Okay, I got a pocket healer. I suspect you might be using both of them on healing spells soon. <laughs> Why do you think I'm running away from attacking? All right, there we go. Line of sight. Uh, healing word. Oh God, I ran away. Healing word. Uh... Ten is you. Fall and come straight back up. Also, next. prone the box lying next to you. I got max healing. Let's go. That's fucking. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Um, and I'm gonna. I still have my action. Do I have any? any oh, let me make sure I click up the channel. Do. Uh, yeah, I use my dead note that's a bunch of extra feature. Uh, hold on. Um, What's up? I rolled the wrong ones to apologize, mate. Uh, 
it was cool. Right, you still went down, however, the damage is considerably less. I don't know why I thought it was 12d12, it was 12d6. That makes you quite a decent amount of difference, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He was at 9 HP anyway, so half of either of them was knocking him down. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. So I'm gonna then use my action to dash back into this room. Make sure okay, I have line of sight of most, so you guys can go down. Okay, uh, that's where I have my turn. Okay. Corby. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot the guy again. Right, right. Same thing. Last spell, same as the first on mm. all accounts. So you fire off. So close. So it and just hits the wall at the other end. Of an idea I'm sorry, an 18 misses? Would you like me to repeat oh, no. it? Oh no. <laughs> no, I'm just realizing. <laughs> it's uh, four rounds in, and he's just realizing that an 18 misses when a 19 missed previously. I didn't see the 19. <laughs> I'm blind. Corby, did it else with your turn? Nope. Farcible. Oh. Upon understanding um, that nothing is working, I'm going to leave because I am not going to keep shooting at this thing that obviously will not be shot. You have to use your uh, action to dash. Because you are... I say oh. dash, you're rolling out of there. You're still prone, you got to use half your movement to get up. So regardless, you leaving, crawl under my legs. leaving this area, you would have to dash, <laughs> else ending your turn on Rupert. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You, out and your little, you know, jumps over and do anything else for your turn, bonus actions? Uh, no, I'm just sort of trying to get away. Why are you still have, you, have you stood up yet, Fossil? Uh, didn't, is that, used half my action, my movement action? No, because, because you're lying down. Mm. When you go to move whilst you're lying down, it's still half speed. Unless you oh, have okay. like a crawl speed or such. If you don't have that type of speed, then it's half movement to do one square. All right, but so it's half I'll movement probably... to stand up. Yeah, I'll probably do that next round. That's right, you technically had to dash to get here and it's a free action to stand. So that's fine. You did it and then okay. up. Perfectly fine. Grifton. Um, could someone, anyone who feels brave, give me a d20? Uh, sure. Oh, sure. So, oh. Damn, Grifton's retarded. Yeah, the tracks. 13 for 8. Ripper. Uh, Doctor's order, everybody fucking run! Uh, I'm gonna take the dash shit. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna take a quick pot shot before I, uh, run away. Of course. Please, please, please. Oh. <laughs> We are off to a great start this evening, ladies wait, and gentlemen. Wait, 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 wait. I'd like to think as I'm running away, I actually shoot the wall. <laughs> Just... Uh, <poof. laughs> Anyways, dash, and then for my action, I'm dashing through the snow. Fuck oh, off. So... <laughs> uh, oh, wait, that's You're my really... movement, not my... Whoops. It's alright. Uh... It's alright. Whoops, didn't mean to close... Don't <laughs> worry. Let me doors, doors and foundry are the worst thing ever. 20, uh, it's 30, uh, and five. then, you run downstairs, and then that is, I have, I think I have uh, like you get to here. 15, there, yeah, uh, I would recommend running, there's a homicidal suit of armor, <laughs> See the old man. I see you've entered the ladies' chambers. Renovators, yes, my homicidal. ass. <laughs> Rhea. Oh wait, hold on. I need to switch to Rhea. There we go. Hmm. I think she's feeling a bit brave, so she'll shoot before she runs. Twenty-one for and ten. Good. Five. All right. Oh. You got. You still got advantage. One could crit fish. Oh fuck it, we've all. No, we don't. <laughs> Ping hits and scrapes. Rhea, uh, ha, ha, ha. My. And just starts running. 
Helm Toro. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Good luck! Well, take a step betwixt the fray. More swing and swing. Grifton 1, Corby 2. Grifton 1, uh, it's a fucking nat 1. Corby 2, it's a 16. That hits. Just hit. 16 for 10. I'll knock that off you just now. So I'll do it. Oh. Shit. Uh, I'll let you do it next time. Apologies, that's on me. I'm just used to it. <laughs> Jackie! Yeah, I, I don't understand how people can stand it. It's, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let you pass Ash and leave. Dash action leave, that's a, you just combat rolling down the stairs the entire time. Yeah, I'm fucking spitting down them. <laughs> Jack and just, child. I'm just imagining the family guy, that's Peter it. Griffin, falling Mate. down the stairs. Uh, that's, yep, yeah, bim bam bim, perfect. Did anyone else your turn? turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Oh, cool. Ruby, your music, if you've seen anything. Damn, they broke their spine. I'm gonna hold my action to cast Healing Word at second level in case anybody goes down. And I'm gonna stay here to make sure everybody leaves. Okay, okay. And that's my third. Corby. Wishing that he hadn't wasted giving his magic dagger to Rupert, he's gonna draw out <laughs> his sword and try and hit the guy. And then use the dagger to hit the guy. Damn! Three thirteens, back to back. <laughs> Did I know switch on? Nope. Possible. Uh, retreating again. Just more. Uh, do I have my full movement right? Yeah. Or because I'm not prone anymore, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. And then. Uh, no. It's my... Dashing downstairs? Yeah. Drill of this. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to make sure that Foundry would let me clip through the corner. Uh, I think... Or do I have five more? Five more. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. Did I answer that? That should be it. Griffin, uh, no. Uh, is... Grifton smart enough? Let's find out. I know that's a really stupid question to ask, is Grifton smart enough? No. <laughs> he needs a 10. I'm playing it like how Gark would play it. Stupid. Well, he's gonna go ahead and bonk. 22 for 7. Nice. This mace is silvered, but not magical, so... Have to ping. Rupert, are you doing it now? It's your turn right now. Uh, I cast GTFO. Uh, I just need to remember where the doors are. <laughs> Where's the door out of here? Who knows? Excuse me, sir. Uh, where's the door out of here? <laughs> Points behind you. Thank you. Have a nice day. As a uh, free action, open the door. Yep. 15, uh, 30, and uh, good afternoon, sir. Just leaving. Getting guard is going to stand there. <laughs> hey, he's We're hustling. <laughs> it looks over the other guard for like, some clarification. These hand gestures. Did it else your turn? <laughs> no, I'm just ready to leave. Rhea. <laughs> All right. Uh, do, 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 fifteen. Uh, thirty, and then dash. Dash for further right, thirty. It would get no. you next yourself. Yep. I, it wouldn't. It wasn't moving for some reason. That's right. But anyways. Uh, oh, don't worry, just another renovator. We're leaving. <laughs> just 
get the layout of this house real quick. <laughs> Hell daughter. Oh. One and one. Uh, Grifton and Corby. Both misses. It's gonna swings wildly at both and you know, easily dodging, even though Grifton's about the size of a house. Jacket. Uh, yeah, just dash action. Still oh, just yeah, lying down as you do this, really? I'm still lying down. Yeah, so, like, getting to there is your dash action. Oh, I'm gonna stand up then. Stand up. So, what, a 45 feet of movement then? Yeah. 45. Why is it say 85? 80, because you've, that's all the movement you've done so far. Oh, I already got you. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Opal. Ribbit. Yes, yes. Um, Held spell slot fizzles. Wait, does it waste the spell? Or... Yep, yep. Really? Yep. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that. Uh, that sucks. Oh well. I'm gonna walk forward. And then like, grab this guy by his horns. Uh, the, like the, 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 the stupid guy. And kind of like, tug him, like, let's go. Like, let's, let's leave. And then walk this way. Oh, there. Like, I don't, I don't Make try to him. I'm more like, just, just pull them away, like more of a signal. Yeah, make a, make a persuasion check. It's what Gark would do. <laughs> uh, persuasion... Do, 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 do. No, Grifton. Jesus fucking Christ. Be good at this, please. I'm not, I've not been ditched. I'm playing, like, I'm playing Last Stand. I have Ooh. the health and everything. Moves so. is moves his head and turns around with his mace towards the creature once more. <laughs> Natural 14, negative 1 modifier. Oh god. Also doesn't speak common. Stolen laptop, neighbour's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Slept with just the neighbour's wife. Guy. What was that Ruby? He's just a silly guy. Sure. We'll go with that. Uh, that's completely free. You can still do whatever you want. Uh, alright, okay, fuck. Um, I'm just. Oh no. Ah, I'm going to shoot him. Right. I'm going to shoot another firebolt. Just pick him off. No. Nope. I'm pretty sure he still has advantage. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Yeah. You, I haven't you. broken concentration. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you never know, it could work. <laughs> no. <laughs> Once more back to the chimney. Did anyone else? Nope. Corby. Um, I, seeing that Griffin is still here and Opal's still here, I am going to move to there and then try and hit him. Uh, short sword. 20 for 4 will hit. Uh, I'll do the same thing, try and force him back away from me. With the Swarmkeeper thing? Yeah, so DC 12, strength save. It's a 14. Okay, and then I'm going to try and hit him with the dagger. Yep. 21 for 4 also hits. Yeah, it's my turn. Farcible, you're downstairs. I'm gonna be joining, joining the other two outside, and just try to get out as much as I can. Uh, just meet up here, and that should be the end of that, honestly. And that's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> Preston. And seeing what you're doing. Well, also. 
protector he roll, shall we say. He will try and push the Helm Horror back away from you. I had another thing I was going to do, but that'd be really dumb. Push Corby? No, uh, <laughs> grab and yeet off the edge. You know, like, <laughs> hold and... But I was like, oh, that's just going to cause more problems. <laughs> uh, so, that'd be 24 to beat. Is pushed five foot back points towards the door. And... We'll end turn there just now. Rupert, uh... Is he, is he staying there? Okay. It's very Again, much he's... G it's, it's very much he's sure. trying to protect you to get out? Yeah, he's also hurt more than me. <laughs> is it? Fuck. Well, on our screen, oh. he's blood, and I'm not, so... Am I able to open this gate? Yeah, gate's already open, sorry. That's on me. I think it's unlocked. Oh. So you push three. Right. For, I'm going to remove you from the initiative order now. Goodbye! <laughs> you have fleed the combat, as it were. As is Rhea. Rhea has fleed the combat. We go over to the Helm Horror. He's going to look at yourself, Corbin, as he does, going to try and push you. Just away. Uh, do the appropriate check things. I've got advantage on it. Don't need it. As you are pushed, you save away from that. Perfectly fine. Jack in. Yeah, so I'm just going to use dash and just get outside. Right, uh, that'll be set that, that you are out of the fight. That's Having cool. fleed. I think I've actually did something wrong. Opal. So you've seen Corby trying to gesture to Grifton to get out the door. As well as what you did. And Grifton has tried to push the Helm to Horror away. I have never played this type of class. I have no idea what else you can do. Ruby, you uh, yes, move forgot. back. Uh, I say like to to let let's get out of here. Take the door on the right. I'll take this door. I back up. Keep line of sight on the two guys just in case anything happens. Uh, but I'm gonna can he. Can I ready my action to dash once they leave the room? No. As Kate and Class's movement. So no, you. Yeah. If you've got like any spells or such, then yeah. But barring in that. Uh Then I'll just. Yeah. <laughs> Can I retcon me moving back? Yeah. Uh. So I'm gonna stay here. Okay. I did you do 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 do. Uh, I cast gust on it. Okay. To try to push it back even further. Yep. Strength save. Uh, natural nineteen. That's fine. Worth an attempt. I'm still safe. Uh, so I'm gonna take another take like a tiny step back to keep my range. Actually, another one. So Grifton can take this door if needed. Okay. Corby. Seeing as that the two of them are still there, I'm going to attack again. Okay. So, <laughs> sword. 24 for 8, well, yep. It, this time I'm going to try and use the... Because uh, it's, it's passed every single time I've tried to move it, so I'm just going to try and do the extra damage. Yep. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12 12 for 6 Don't know what you're done? No, no, I'm... Oh. 
I'm faster than this thing, so I want to make sure the rest get out. So that's it. So that's why I'm waiting for them to leave, and they're not fucking leaving. Fastball three. <laughs> uh, yep. Boom, bang, bush. You are gone. We look like a wang. <laughs> He's got none of the restrained stuff, which is like horrible. Does he have a please have a fucking ranged attack, Gark? He does. That's good. We'll take the mace, move it back, starts grunting away and think of colourful words. We'll pull out the little crossbow that he's got, little dinky wise, and it's gonna fuck. Oh, fuck off. You are... Yep, nice. Uh, issue with... Oh, it's because it's not fucking equipped, Matthew, you... Genius. That would be the reason, right? Hey, yep. you're just being accurate to the character. <laughs> no, it's like, because Foundry's been really weird with, like, <laughs> arrows and such as well, as it's doubling the amount of arrows taken. Mm. So I say 20 for 10, which will ding and bang. Yeah. He will close the door. <laughs> Who's Grifton? Like, Helm Horror will, once again, just try and remove yourself, Corby. Just hard push. Is that thing? Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, unless you not one, you are standing still. <laughs> oh. Running. Uh, da da Lane of sight. Gust. Uh, natural 13. Sweet Jesus. Why are you guys rolling bad and that rolling good? Did it ask your turn, Ruby? Nope, okay, Corbin. Yeah, the power of Satan. Oh, there we go. I keep forgetting it, I'm muted. That's right. Uh, I am going to disengage. Yeah. Um, and I can, that means... You can just move. I can, yeah, so I'll go through the door, shut it behind me. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, and get my bow out. Okay. Grafton will... Come to here, please. Dun, 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 dun. Holding once more his little crossbow. He's going to hear that heavy foot of the armour. Then, nothing. Opal. You are muted again. Are you fucking... So he doesn't open doors, or he... Or he, he, he doesn't want to. Uh, I lean and I dash. Yep. And then how much do I have left? I don't know, but there, it's rough. Move in, da da da. Corbett. Oh, there, there they are. Okay, she, I see them now. That's right. Oh, I, uh, I see it there again. Does it still look like it's been hurt? It has not healing, is it? Uh, it doesn't seem to have any form of heal on it. No, it does seem to just kind of be standing back on its pedestal, though. I'm going to have another shot, shot at it. All right. Oh, baby! Add anything else there? Yep. 2d6, cool. Says 15, 22, down to that. And then I'm going to step back 
close the door. One, two, look over at Griffin. <clears throat> now, did um, Jack and leave the box there? Jack and did yeah. you leave the. Yep. Alright. Do you take the box? I'm not there yet. I'll go get further over, haven't I? <laughs> That's my turn. Grifton will move to the stairs and wait for you. Opal, uh, given I get this intention that you are fleeing, given how things are, we will end that here, going back to the standard order, as it were. I move over to the box, pick it up and toss it to Grifton. Grifton makes a date noises as he holds it. Unsure what it does. I sort of motion to put it, for him to put it down his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Figuring no one wants to look there. Oh god. <laughs> and then... You hear the psh of an elastic waistband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a nice little prize for Gark when he comes. Uh... <laughs> is, that a, is that a puzzle in your face? He's only got a third ball down there. Um... He's walking around with a big square bulge in the front of his trousers. Walk yeah. uh... in your pants or are you just happy to see me? Yeah. Uh, and it's sort of like motion for Griffin to like We'll go after the others and try and see if we can find out which way they went. Oh. Make his griftery noise. Do, 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 do. I'm making this character as dumb as possible because, like. It's accurate. It's more accurate. Yeah. Yeah, stick it on. It's also, it's also a pain in the ass sometimes. He's gonna, goes down with his yes. big infernal puzzle box. Down his trousers. I'm gonna to have to rate that one just now. Uh, Grifton. Corby? Man, it's gonna get. Good... Yeah, we're just trying to catch up with the others. Oh! Is. Just that you haven't moved? Oh, sorry. <laughs> What's always going on here? Yeah. I was writing, writing notes. Oh, apologies. It's okay. Yeah go down you're gonna see the doors open some of the guards are you know watching as a strew of people are running out shrugs as i walk past, I walk past this guard i say um tell tell her ladyship we're not up to such horrible renovating tasks guard is a uh, okay delete that big lane I assume Opal falls. Yes. Move you to snow. Thank you. As you head on out of the Van Zamper Manor, back into the streets of Baldur's Gate, an infernal puzzle box down the trousers of Grifton, and a man in custody of Jacken. It's a... Uh, What are we thinking? Where are we going? Do you think Thalvius is enough like... evidence? I'll throw the toilet, I'll be back in a sec, by all means! I mean, we've got some evidence already, and we were told to deal with them, so... Are we finally done? The Van Thampers are dead. Grifton killed them. Did you get all of them? No, but the person wasn't there who did kill them, so I don't know if Faster wants to claim the Duke or not. I mean, we were supposed to take out the Van Thampers. Those are the only three Van Thampers, as far as I know. Well, yeah. I don't know, either either we go and hand 
creak into the fist. On top, as you hear Rupert look at his shield. Or oh. we'd find a place to rest up and see what he can tell us. <clears throat> It may be best to investigate him for information and then see what we do with him in the morning. Well, granted, we have confidence that we can keep an eye on him until we... until the morning. Well, he can sleep with you, uh, Jack. And... It's a really Jack weird you. one right now. Um, Everyone seems to have this weird shit going on today. Jackins had to quickly leave to go pick up his girlfriend because her, her car's broken uh, down. So he'll be 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird night, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed. Something did feel off. Like, it felt a little strange. I don't know. The a fates the are conspiring against us. <laughs> oh. And then along came Zeus. So here's the thing. I know, I know, Rupert. You all seem to be naively believing that it's going to work out for us. There's I no. I am not that. Yeah, right. There's no chance that. Well, there's a good chance that if we go to Zodge, we then become the next ones who are locked up. So it's the more we know, it's better. So I, I say we try and find somewhere to. Rest up, see what Krieg will say to us. It's not naivete, it's exhaustion. Well, it's as much as we are doing as we were told, we are also now murderers with spotlights on us. And they were devil worshipping cultists. Yes, well, but you need to keep in mind that. that a cult means there is more than three people, so. You know, one equals more, so we might have to, we might have other people on our trail. Then we just shoot them. <laughs> I, look, I look around. Is there anyone suspicious following us, watching us? Uh, passively, no. You do seem to draw the eyes of some of the guards as you know you walk around with this man over your shoulder, but he doesn't seem to say anything. And the guards. Equally, don't seem to say anything either. Well, in case of bystander syndrome. <laughs> it's one of the guards, Greg. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, well, nah. <laughs> Greg's elsewhere. <laughs> There's the newspaper that he'll be interviewed for, though. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of whether or not there'll be Atheris or what, we just got done doing something very strenuous, mentally or physically or otherwise. We need a break, whether that be for interrogation or just to rest. No, I'm more than happy to G get myself off your hands, shall we say. I'll be... You're no. not leaving. Where could you take me? Really, it's a big city. Come on. Have I done anything to you? In fact, I warned you and you didn't heed my warnings. If anything, I've been generous. Uh, I've hey, I, done nothing wrong. I would, like to, I would like to inch the shield ever closer to him. You know, Wince his back. <laughs> you can't blame a man for trying. We can put you in Griffin's pants as well. <laughs> Goes white as just a ghost. <laughs> Please no. Why, why are you looking at Griston's pants? <laughs> it, <laughs> insight <laughs> check. Insight <laughs> check of Tarsnival, please. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you meant me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Corby looks at you faster and just sort of like, when you say that, goes, oh, okay. It's sort of like nods at you. It's like, that's what you're interested in, is it? Yeah, <laughs> Edge. 
So, well, where in this city art thou headed? Where is the nearest uh. tavern? <laughs> oh, nearest tavern, I would say, just once again, is your usual haunt, for lack of better terminology. Maybe this is the only other one that I know. <laughs> How does the tavern sound to you, lot? Sounds like a dream compared to anything else we've done today. And you, Corby? How about some drinks and interrogation? Sure. I think you might want to do it the other way around, but fine. Okay. Very much give a drink myself. What do you say? It was all around. Huh? For your old pal Fabius, say. Rupert Gibbs uh, just stares at him. They kept me in a dungeon. I mean, come on. Uh -huh. Well, here's the thing. Our friend who's carrying you, he's the only person who knows his key has the keys. If you can convince him to tell you what the code is, we will let you go. <laughs> Jack is just stone-faced. So, by all means, have at him. <sighs> you know, goes limp once more over the shoulder. He's here. Once more, Rupert, hear the voice is prime. You could take him now. Who would miss him? Am I able, if I think a thought, can he hear it? I would say it's like your internal monologue. Uh, so I've realized, actually, some people don't have that. And that way when you think to yourself certain things and hold a little conversation with you, you're like, I could do that, but that's going to cause that. Just kind of like that. He's not I necessarily just wondering if I could thoughts. Okay, so I can't... It's not a telepathic thing. Okay. It is like a telepathic thing, but it's not like he's reading your thoughts. You actively have to, like, it's, you know, think about it. It's a two-way street. Yeah, two-way. Oh, he has to be oh, invited. Alright, I'm just going to, like, Whisper to the shield. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can consider it after we get the information we need. <clears throat> As you just sort of see Rupert, like, hold up the shield and he, like, covers his, like, side of his mouth so you can't hear him. But he's obviously talking to it. You have the information already on your person. It did, do you say that out loud, Rupert? Because Corby hasn't heard the voice before. I'm, I'm, I'm whispering to the shield, essentially. Would I hear this, Scottish? Mm. I'm willing to make a stealth check if you want to try to proceed. Let me run passive, because I'm, I'm using mm -hmm. passive perception for a lot of things. Your passive stealth... Oh, Jesus. Is a six. Yeah. I, I'd say you can definitely see what's going on. As for hearing, I would actually request a... Um, a roll off for lack of terminology. If I don't get like pick up that he's actually talking to his shield, then I'll just sort of ignore him and being a bit weird. He's gonna, you know, like that, and then whispering to his shoulder. I don't have any marching order, no one's given me anything. I'm just assuming like your jackin's in the middle because you know, VIP. Would Corby know if there are any like empty buildings? I would assume they would be like in the poorer parts of the city where we could take <laughs> him and might not be quite so visible as a, the Blushing Mermaid Tavern. Mm, yeah, you'd be aware of a few places, particularly in the dockyards. I know, right, talk about stereotyping. Mm. <laughs> and particularly within the docks areas where there are numerous warehouses that are very much, you know, vacant if not, you know, vacant if not vacant, then very infrequently frequented. 
there is another option if we want to be more um, subtle. I might know a few places that are less busy than the tavern, but you wouldn't have alcohol on hand. So, what, 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 how do you guys feel? If we are going to investigate him or interrogate, I have no qualms with trying it myself. These are not things that I am... There are things I'm experienced in, let's say. I would not need a boost or a drink to do so. As long as we get drinks after. Well, I mean, Opal looks at uh, Parshival. Parshival? What's... How to pronounce Parshival. it? Parshival. Parshival. I keep thinking Ready Player One Parkable. <laughs> um, she kind of like looks over. You scare me. <laughs> Do not worry. You are not in danger. I simply just have expertise in these things. That's, that's the nicest thing anyone said to her for days. <laughs> um, no, what, what I was just thinking is that going on previous experience with the group, and I look at Grifton and I look at Jacken. There's no guarantee that this interrogation will be quiet. So... I, I'm saying this so Krieg can hear hear me say it. So <laughs> he picks up on that type of thing. So if you want somewhere where... I don't know, broken toes and stuff can be... Is, is that what you do? And I look at uh, Griston. There's a dark stare. Good. So he, <laughs> he, he's already so enraptured by the idea of what he can do to you. So let's go on. Uh, let's try and find a nice secluded place so we can have a nice little... And he actually puts his fingers up and goes, air quotes, talk. And I'll make sure you stay alive for it. You're going to hear this. <laughs> If if Q were here, he I, I would tell him that he feels some warmth on his shoulder all of a sudden, but he's not, so it's ruined. <laughs> it's ruined. This is yeah. Make your way over down to the dockyard area. Yeah, it doesn't take you too long with your um expertise, shall we say, to find a nice. Quiet. I get to use my background feature. Secluded area. <laughs> Is it torture? <laughs> no. It's urchin. We can get there quicker. Ah. Do you know something? I had a map laying on it. I had a map that I used for the first guys. I'm like, I'm not going to need to use it again. And I deleted it. And it was a dock mark. It was docks. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to need to use that again. No. Oh, Why would I need to? <laughs> And then, oh no, we need to. Do we do we have a place yet, or do we still need some? I kind of got distracted by things. There's a lot going on around me. Uh, do we have a place to go to to interrogate, you know, at the docks. Yeah, I'm saying that you are finding one very easy. I just got to see if I have a fucking map for it, which I'm pretty sure uh, I did. I have the sailor background. I could maybe like pull some strings to get a good place where nobody will bother us for a bit. You know, just in case. Uh, it's the joys of extra dimensional species. Yeah. I think I deleted the damn map. Great, fantastic. Well, either way, uh, you find a nice place, a secluded little dockyard. You will, where it's all quiet. No one seems to care. No one seems to notice. You just easily enter this area. A old dockyard storage area with numerous boxes piled on high. Few light shafts here and there. You can see those specks of dust in the air hanging quite heavily. It's plenty of ropes, plenty of chains, plenty of everything. 
Most of the boxes here seem empty. The place is run down with rats running around, water damage and uh, almost putrid -y, rotted fish smell. Yeah. Find a nice little place to plop your boy and there's you know, Jack was gonna hold him by the you know scruff of the neck the entire time because he's not here and it seems like what well, something he'd do. Manacles so, still on the feet. Are you go? Going on past experience, Christian's gonna kill this guy. So Corby will sort of take Christian to one side and place him sort of in in sight but guarding the way we came in. So anyone who tries to came in has to go through Grifton. If Quig tries to run out, he has to go through Grifton as well. And like mm -hmm. motions him to sort of like look around and say, watch guard and stuff like that. Would I take a crack at this first? Sure. And Corby's going to try and hot, drift off and sneak and hide so he's not as visible to, to Quig. Alright. Uh... So Jacken still has is like holding him, right? Yep. Uh, I'll uh, turn to Jacken. Could you sit him down, preferably sitting up? Yeah, kicks in behind his legs and he back of his knee and he nah, falls oh. to it. Check that out. Nods. So, as he's sitting down on the ground, um, I turn around and I pull a couple things out of my bag that I've had. I have the, the dagger, or at least one of them, um, and then the two, uh, two of the wine bottles that I had picked up from the room. And I sort of just sit them down in front of me, and I take the quirks and stuff out. Um, and I turn to Creek, and I'm like, do you know how people face consequences in Candlekeep? Expulsion. At times, yes. But there are some times when people do damage to things that they should not damage. Times when they cause a ruckus that cannot be Hmm... Punished with simple words. Sometimes people do damage in which they need to know damage themselves. And, um, I'll take a, a finger and I'll sort of do a circular motion and you can, using the cantrip shape water, you can see, uh, since alcohol has a water base, um, it sort of rises out and sort of swirls around my hand towards Krieg. There are simple ways that we get people to talk. And I'm going to take um, the dagger and I sort of place the blade across his forearm and I slice open a wound and I put the alcohol and stuff onto the wound and press it against it. There are simple pieces of information that we require and that now you will learn how we do our business outside of the field and outside of our walls. Good news guys, I found the map. <laughs> <laughs> how we can torture them with style. <laughs> like we're really there. <laughs> Took me a moment. It's gonna looks at ya. Oh the information you need. So I've told you already. There's nothing else that I can give. Everything else is in gonna gestures towards Grifton, who is, you know, sitting by the door. In his side. Hmm. I'm gonna sort of take his face in the grip of my hand and sort and tighten it. And 
tilt his head up as I stare into his eyes. Um, I'm going to intimidate him, and then um, can I do perception to see if he's lying? Uh, but what's that? Any roll against that one there? As far as he kind of looks, you try to intimidate him. He's gonna look at you. Listen. I have told you everything. Everything you need. Everything you wanted. You killed the only other people that could help you. You have everything else. You've left all the information with the lumbering idiot that doesn't understand you. I've given you everything. So, you can kill me, drop me in the water, the end of the day, everything remains the same. No one here eats anything else. I've told you everything. Uh, can... You can insight check them if you like. Uh, yeah. Oof. It seems earnest and honest That's in his ways. Great. Why would he lie? He's not sweating, he's not screaming, he's not shouting, but he's repeating the same things over and over again. Mm. Already killed the Patriarchs. You've done everything you need. There's no point in me being here. Your friend here tried. He couldn't open it. Maybe you're smart enough, little Miss Candlekeep. Mr. Sandalkeep, I don't know. It's hard to tell in these lights. But maybe you're smart enough to open the box and, you know, you'll find that all the information I've given has been accurate to this point. You know, looks it's... over at bulging grift. Sort of lean back and just look at him. I cock my head a little bit. Um, I turn to everybody else and I look at them. Does anybody else have a conflicting verdict? What's in the box? Do you know? Yes. Mm. What yeah. is it? Everything I've told you, written down. Well, I'm on standby. I can patch up any wounds when we're done. Mm. It's quite peculiar. He mentions being so passive in this. Yet. He seems to be involved with it all. It's interesting. Alright, well... I suppose I can take a step back for now. I will let anybody else who wants to do whatever they will. Does he still have a weird sh shadow? Yes. When Tharsil steps back, can I shoot the shadow? Yeah. See if, like, if it does anything? Is it part of him? Is it separate? That type of thing. Yeah, I'd say knock an arrow off your sheet. You're gonna okay. fire it off, well, in this case, not two arrows off your sheet because it's been fucking funny like that. If you fire yeah. it off and it hits the walls, you know, gonna have him and Jack and kind of like, and show me, Ella, is it? I've told you! Torture will do nothing. But it, it didn't seem to have an effect on him or the shadow, it still looks weird. Shadow still looks weird, but. Didn't and it didn't react. He, yeah, hey. it didn't react, neither did he. Okay. Hey, Scottish. Yeah. I'm gonna like quickly whisper to the shield, and again whispering. So, anyways, what is Thavius? Because clearly he's not normal with the with his shadow and everything. <sighs> A creature to be called. Thin uh, group 
Bet. Okay, let me ask you this. Oh, sorry, you still got. I thought you were done. Sorry. It was hard to understand, so I thought you were done. Nah, it requires a lot of sucking in here. <laughs> so, could you repeat what he said? It was hard to understand. He is a creature to be called. Thin the herd. Hello and hi and welcome. So, let's get to our advert break. Firstly, a good place to pause if you need to, pick up the next time. Now, we are available on Patreon and we are available on Coffee, and the link is above. We are also advertised our good friends at Adventuron. Now, Adventuron is a D&D 5e community. Uh, essentially, you can join there as a DM or as a player and play numerous games or host numerous games of D&D a day. That can be either a play by post or a live game, you may only have mobile, you may only have virtual access, but either way, there's guaranteed to be a game for you, or even if you're just looking for tips or to connect with people who are of a similar mind, join here, link in the description. Third and final, before we get back to it, is the schedule. Remember that on Mondays at 7 pm UK, 2 pm EST, we have Dragonlance. On a Tuesday at the same time, we've Descent into Avernus, and on Saturdays at the same time, we have. Find the and below the shattered obelisk. We'll see you then. Till then, let's get back to this scheduled programming. Why would he not be? Humans normally don't have shadows like that. And shields don't normally talk. I'll tell you everything at some point, boy. However, it seems you are unwilling to cooperate with me, so why should I give you <coughs> the same? Show me your worth. <clears throat> we can discuss a deal in private right now. I just need something to go off besides killing. Kill him. I mean, what? Keep him alive. It's your choice. But I will not give more to you until I know you are serious about our deal. Alright. So. This. Oh, sorry. The Corby's oh, sorry, moved up in the time. <clears throat> so. Okay. I'll let Corby go first. Corby Cor looks and goes, um, well, if you've told us everything, then there's no harm in you answering a few harmless other questions. Is there? Depends. I'm not a parrot. What's a parrot? <laughs> ah, go to child. You'll see so many. Mm -hmm. No thanks. Uh, so, so f first things first. Um, you wouldn't happen to know how Amra got hold of the uh, box, would you? Yes. How did Amrik get his hands on the box? Gave him it. You gave it? Yes. He wanted to see it. Would I not let him see it? Where did you take it from? Where was it before? That's mine. Mine alone. Again! All the information you seek is in the box. Just go ahead, open it. Well, that's not true because you don't know what I'm looking for. So, uh, se second question. Yep. Did you see the Duke 
Raven Guard in Elturel. He was in Elturel. <laughs> Shame that. Did you call him there? He he's like some kind of leader of Veltra. He's got a high he's got a title, hasn't he? Yeah. High overseer. Did you call him there or not? Yeah. Coily shrugs his shoulders with a smile. Do you know what's happened to Eltorel? Yeah. Gestures towards Grifton once more. Mm -hmm. Again? You can interrogate me all you like. The information's in the box. And the box is all you need. You can do with me what you like, my. I'll be well taken care of. Amrit. I, I, I turn around and look at the rest. Amrit. We were on the devil cultists, wasn't he? Well, he did have the devil on his shoulder, quite literally. Why would he? Give him the box. Yeah, Thirstwell had the box, not Amrit. Sorry, Thirstwell. Okay. Why would Thirstwell? Why would he give Thirstwell the box? He was curious. He wanted to see how to open it. And I was more than happy to let him oblige. Well, if it's your box, wouldn't you know how to open it? I would, yes. Doesn't mean I will. You want to know the contents. I already know the contents. And before you ask, no, I won't open it for you. I look at him and I will say to him in Infernal, that which falls can rise again. I'm looking to see if he has any sort of recognition on that. That was something I believe we found in the Duke's water thingy. The yeah, water's gonna give us a sleep smirk to it. So he recognised it, yeah. would be my guess. Well, it's strange you seem to understand Infernal. It, uh, Are you a member of their cult? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Just comes in handy when you run the, you know, the city of Elturel. Plagued by the undead, where the arch angel Zariel came to fix your problems with demons and devils. It's, um, it's useful to know although I'm sure you already know how get it. switches cord to infernal useful it is why do you know a language it's a better question he kind of leans back the king who knows Infernal, and you didn't question that one. He's a lot more helpful than you are. Gonna pose a little. <laughs> uh, it's, this... it's good to understand your enemies. And I, and I step back. Should be a reach, but. Can I use Awakened Mind to see if there's more than one consciousness inside of him? Yep. Yeah. Alright. That is you. Reach on in. Touch the mace. I, I, 
I'll give it because it specifically says mines, which is plural. <laughs> Just ten. Alright. Is I'm, there I'm anything gonna... near like oh, him like with the shadow? Like there's no other other entity connected to him at all? No other entity, no. Hmm. You say you'll be well taken care of if you live or die. Curious is what God has you so confident. As, as Rupert's sort of like tracing like the edge of his shield. He's kind of leans in. Knowledge. Leans back. Do you have an infernal liaison waiting for you? No, I'm just smart. Did we search him? We thought we did yeah. when we were in the thing. Okay, yeah. so he doesn't have like any hidden tokens or marks. No weapons, just coinage. Well, yeah, but no, there's no like mark of a devil or no token of Zariel or another devil god. Anything like that is there. Nothing on, nothing on his body, no. Okay. Let's see. Do I have? Oh, let me check my. Do I have a spell I can use? No, not the. I don't have it prepared. That's why. Okay. Hmm. Well then. See, I've been having quite a few creative thoughts as of late. As I inch the shoulder, or er, shoulder. Sorry, the shield a bit closer to him. I'm starting to think maybe I should give them a listen. We're supposed to sort of turn towards respond? your bird and just like raises an eyebrow and just. Now, what does that mean? And once before more, I answer that, the... repeats the Fair phrase an infernal that Corby says. Which I forget, so that's why I'm saying it like that. <laughs> and he's <laughs> smiling as he does. That's which, that which will fall will rise again, I think it was. Yep. Wait a minute, so obviously that means... Because Zario is like commonly See known it? to have like... An infernal. You don't speak infernal. Well, no, no. Oh, wait, yeah, sorry, I was using... Sorry, my bad, my bad. What, what is he saying? I guess nobody's gonna answer. <laughs> uh, out of the darkness, you, you just hear Corby say he's saying that which falls can rise again. Cool. Is that linked to Zariel? Is yeah, that, that was about. Is that a thing of Zariel's? I was about to say because Zariel is known to have descended into the hells. Mm. But Elturel has also gone down. So is it talking about Elturel? Or is it a Zariel thing? Is what? Corby is trying to find out. I mean, Rupert, he offers my guess is Zariel. No answer to the question. He just smiles. That's why he kind of leans back, puts his feet on the table. I told you. But you're not listening. I've told you everything you need. What do you want in exchange for the opening of the box? I want nothing. You're the one that wants answers. The answers are in the box. Do we need them alive? As I, like, yes. start Holly over to Corby and, uh, Percival. Eh. He may serve us more information regarding the box, but considering his, uh, unfruitful responses, I don't see why, but, you know, those value everyone's life when it comes to it at the end of the day. He hasn't harmed us. But... If he serves liabilities, there may be reason for killing him, but I do not see why he would. Well, if 
if we need him disposed, let me know. As he says, I will say he does do a quick, like, eye dart towards his shield. And I think Rupert's going to leave it there until someone tells him to either patch him up or, uh... Man. Can Jack and knock him unconscious? Yeah. Why would we... Don't worry, shouts uh, him up. Shouts him up and he can't hear us. Huh. That's what Corby would suggest to Jack Jack. He's gonna hold him by there, lift up the palm of the long sword, and gonna look round for a nod of approval from everyone else. I shake no. Rupert nods yes, a bit more excited than he should be. Sorry. Hold the pommel up to knock him up out, out cold. Let it Opal. Opal said no. Let it Rupert. Rupert said yes. I'm uh, assuming Corby is also one yes here. Yeah. I mean, we're not killing him, so I have no objections. Yet. Knock him out. But the most I can imagine Jack and would do. Poof, you could. Boop. Folds like a deck chair. Well, Corby appears behind Opal. Now that he's no longer listening, how did you come to be down there as well? Uh. I was walking through the streets, and then I woke up there. I must have magically teleported. What streets? The streets of Baldur's Gate. Oh, okay. I was... Oh, I remember now. I was going to the mechanic. Because I've been seeing a low amount of color. I don't understand one of those words. Oh, uh, I was getting. I, I, I needed some. Well, would you call it healing? For me, right. it's repairs. Uh, because my eyes were a little broken. Are a little broken. Where are you from? Uh, the ships. The sea is my home. Are there more of you? Uh, I believe so. I think I have a serial number somewhere. So yeah, I, I'd say so, probably. On, on, on the ships. Oh, on the ship. Yeah, no, we're. I'm, I was a pretty standard model. Okay. I, I think my serial number is. 2406. If that answers your number, uh, your question. It's an altar. I don't know, I understand it. Uh, well, oh, you don't understand the, what is your question? I'm trying to find out whether or not you're in league with them, whether or not you're willing to work with us. Yes. In I which mean, case... I'm now a, a, a what's it? A uh, accessory to murder, I think they call it. <laughs> so, I'm kind of stuck here, and it sounds like you guys. Well, te technically, assassination. No, no, it's first, san first sanctioned. Murder, uh, san you know. Sanctioned. Oh, it's sanctioned. Yes, assassination. Uh, 
well, you guys <gasps> seem to be doing the right. No, I can't say that. That. that... Hey, devil worshiping cult. What are you guys doing? I don't understand what you guys are doing. You just went in, murdered a bunch of people, and are now torturing somebody. Uh, I've yet mm. to have somebody explain no, no. why. Te technically, we went in, murdered two devils, a cat, seven or eight cultists. No, no, sorry, ten or twelve cultists, and then four guards. Okay. Yeah, it's what's okay. the reason for murder? Uh, the devil worshipping cultists who have betrayed the city and sent the ruler down to wherever Elterwell's gone. And do you guys have any evidence? Any proof? Any, you know? Several. Yes. Points at the obvious. Well, and, all these in the basement. <laughs> and, and and I hold up my notes where I've taken from. Oh. Also, oh, you were you were imprisoned underneath the manor. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. That's pretty damn. How long had you been there? Uh, uh, I don't have a clock module, so I couldn't tell you. Do you have a sleep schedule? Uh, from time to time, I shut down and just stare in front of me. Not really based on much time, more whenever I feel like I need to reset, you know, recharge. My battery life is kind of inconsistent. That's why I was going to the mechanic as well. I had a few things I needed to fix. I look over and reflect. Do you understand any of this stuff? Uh, I'm more of a biological sort of guy, but it just sounds like they're a construct that needed to be repaired. Yes, basically. Sorry. I used to talking constructs as he gestures to his gun. Say it's impressive. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not a normal construct. I'm not like the other girls. Um... <laughs> Good. I like men. <laughs> <laughs> Not like other girls, I get my nails painted pink. <laughs> well, no. Um... Oswald just blinks at him for a second from across the wall and then looks back at the woman who was talking. I won't see. Uh, I got struck by lightning. Which is the reason uh. that my ship is in port, because they needed repairs as well. Um, but I got struck by lightning, and now I can do magic. Well, that's quite shocking. Not that. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that took me longer than it should have. That took you way too long. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I just had some be. friends. As those words leave Rupert's lips, he just smiles. <sighs> Opal just looks at you very disappointedly. Uh, what? Well, it was funny. Right, Tarsal? Shit joke, shit joke, shit joke, shit joke, shit joke. <laughs> Rupert just pouts a little. And that's <laughs> it. Yes, I got struck by lightning. And I've been able to do magic. Well, I was able to do healing. Um, but I seem to have gained a inane sense of magic. Um... Because my original magic is built on... It's very complicated. I don't want to bore you. No, no, I'm very interested. Oh, well. It's just Rupert just leans in. Well, I was worried that it might be above your listening comprehension, <laughs> so I didn't want to overload you. Fine, fine, we can talk about it later. 
Yes. Do you want to go back to your ship? Uh, well, we will be in port for a while because we got struck by lightning. Um, so I have some time to kill, you know, and you guys seem to be doing something important. I still don't know what, but uh, if you guys need some uh, medical assistance, I will be available. Rupert squints as you, at you as you say that. How much for your medical services? Uh, just give me a cut and whatever you guys get. I take a small amount. You're hired, you're better than the previous idiot we had. What? Oh, wait, you're talking about. Oh. You can run an insight check if you want. Mm, yeah, Rupert. <laughs> Rupert will. Uh, no, not intimidation. Yeah. Got an 18. <laughs> uh. It's very much talking about you there, mate. <laughs> Uh, what I thought you were talking about? Oh. If I know what stuff is supposed to go when they're severed. Well, mm. I do not mind cooperation. Um, when your magic fails, don't come crying to me. Well, oh, that's the fun thing. Checking. I have two different schools of magic, actually. Well, two different sources. Whilst he's down, whilst they're not paying attention. Do it. Corbett, you remember that dagger you gave Rupert? He's just, like, sort of, like, playing with it, kind of, like, to uh, lightly tossing it in the air, catching it, looking at Thavius. Corby's looking at Opal. Um, That's why. And that. Corby will just go, well... While you're with us, that's appreciated. Mm. I suggest we get some rest. Yes, I uh, do need a recharge. I'm a little low on my, uh, my fuel. Do we have to fuel you? No, no, no. Uh, magic, fuel, whatever. It automatically recharges. I. Don't, don't worry, I was just trying to make it easier for you. But yes, I could use a, uh, a, a a bit of a rest. If I shot you with a magic gun, would that feel you? <laughs> no, that would hurt. Damn. Yes. <laughs> I <laughs> seem to have a similar system of pain with you guys. Just, I don't need food. But you said you don't sleep. How do you rest? Uh, I just kind of sit I, I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna like try and get a really good look this isn't a case of like they are no they're two fucking gnomes in a suit of armor up <laughs> is it <laughs> three cool bolts in a trench yeah, coat <laughs> yeah that, that type of thing it, we're, we're not being played by this guy are we um, a really good perception of him, just really good look over him to make sure that he is what he's sort of saying, or it's what he's saying. Sure. Uh, sure. So, yes. Yeah, could understand how you might lay eggs, but there you go. Yeah, <clears throat> look around, they're, you know, like most modern suits of armour and such, there's always some form of gap for hinges, mechanisms and such to move, however, there are no gaps other than gaps in clothing and you know the clothing itself seems more of a I want to say the word like social construct you know like <laughs> <laughs> wears clothes because everyone else does but doesn't necessarily have to that okay. is my bard artificer uh, bard warforged <laughs> the social construct but nothing seems nothing seems like a flap. Nothing seems like it opens up very quickly. And as you watch them move and run, if this were two gnomes in a trench coat, three cobalts on a suit of armor, 
They'd have to have been at it for some years to have the amount of coordination that Opal has. Do you know the thing we ran away from in the house? The other uh, one, like you, like you. Was that a she as well? Oh, that's my just a distant cousin Gerald. No, I do not. Oh, you do know him? <laughs> no, I do Why not. didn't you tell him to stop hitting us? I do not know him. That was a joke. I thought... I thought you would be more social creature. Aren't your humanoids generally social? That's a mighty big brush you're tiring us all with. <laughs> But no, I do not know him. Uh, I am a healing robot. He's doing exactly the opposite of what I would do. Also, I've been at sea for most of my life. How should I know him? I don't know. Don't all of you know each other? You all look alike. <laughs> Got the toilet on that one. <laughs> Do you know the bird flying ahead? The overhead? Yeah, that's an imp. <laughs> but no, I do not I know see. everything that is made out of metal. Oh. You could have just said that. I could have. Well... Thank you for helping us. Probably worthwhile introducing ourselves. So, my name's Corby. Hi, Corby. Stand Hello. Standing next to you is Raya. She's Hi, from Raya. another city. Standing behind you, that's Tharsaval. I... I don't know where Tharsaval's from. But I met him outside the city gates. It's very... <laughs> There's a word that I was told for people like this called enigmatic, but I don't know what it means. So I don't know if it's an insult. Hmm. Neither do I. The strong silent one is Jacken. Um, we don't know why he, does, he stopped talking to us. He's probably annoyed at us, because he gets annoyed <laughs> quite a lot. Jacken stands the there. So Exactly. Oh. And then the one in the corner is Rupert, who is. Well, back in um, when I was a kid, the type of people here were like t talked of as being like they had soft shells type thing. Um, but there we go. He likes playing with his force cannon or whatever it is. <laughs> Drea kind of puts her hand forth. <sighs> Ram Hunter Morn, uh, Hell Rider. Uh, El Terrell Guard. Uh, it's, been, it's been a week. Rupert, you remind me of this German doctor I used to know. German? Yes. Where's oh, that map of the Forgotten Realms? <laughs> oh, he's from a different realm. You don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 you... Look, it's not my fault. Oh, okay, it is my fault. Look, look, every animal just deserves to be called Archimedes. Nobody <laughs> was talking about that. Go sit down. Kill Archimedes the thousands. And he just whispers to his shield real quick. Shut up. The, the other one is called... We think he's called Grifton. He doesn't talk to us well. We don't understand what he says. Yeah. Uh, from the back. Uh, see. Do you speak to all of this by any chance? Uh, do, 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 do. No. Shit. If you want to make yourself useful, you could try learning to talk to him. Um. Even I have my. Capabilities in, in how much I can have ability. Okay. Well, it's good to have you. Um, what are we going to do to be rested? I look over the rest of the. 
kill him? I don't know. Yes. Do it. Slit his throat. Goddamn like a pig! You just see Rupert's eye twitch as he just gets like yelled into his head. <laughs> Well, that's just my medic your... professional opinion. Keep your creepy shield away from me. Fuck, it's just a normal shield. <laughs> we know damn well it is not. It is, but believe what you wish. Arsenal sort of just like turns away a little bit, and you can see that he's very visibly on edge. <laughs> cool. Cool beast to just, well, why don't we try and get some rest, but whoever's on guard, keep an eye on Krieg. Hey, what's the... God damn it, we're drinks to... Come again? <clears throat> you broke up there, mate. Come, Come again? Back to guard. I don't. Everyone's breaking up. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I can't hear anyone. Hello? I thought it was just my connection. Like 13880. Hey, hi, hello. Oh. Alright, I've changed I've changed server and Discord. I've changed Discord server. Discord was shit yeah. in the bed there. Yep. Yay. So yeah, um let's Back a few little moments there. Uh, Rupert, before you moved, you said? Uh, I I'm gonna be honest, past Tarsible, uh, do, uh, like, looking on edge, that's about all I remember. Tom, you hearing us okay there, mate? Yes, now. Okay. Yeah, things are going well. There you go. So, you are. Short resting here. I think um, Corby would argue for a long rest with people taking, keeping watch. That could be, yeah. And before we go to sleep, are we absolutely sure we need him alive? Yes. It would be best. We weren't told we could kill him. We weren't told that we shouldn't. Why are you so insistent on otherwise? Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. If I cannot trust you to be reliable of whether or not we should keep people alive, then I will not be able to trust you either. Well, given his weird shape, his weird shadow, maybe he's some sort of, I don't know, shapeshift creature. I already tried to check, there's nothing else within him. As for shape-shifting, I have no idea, but there's no other re-inciting creature. Do any of you have any idea about the box that he's talking about? Not at I do all. Not. No. Wait, there was a box? Jack and shudder is it at a... <laughs> Where is the box you guys keep talking about? Corby's beak opens. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's somewhere where no one will be looking for it. You may off in the corner, Griffin just scratching his balls. <laughs> yeah. He's scratching his pube. Camera he's cuts over and he's like, mm. oh, I, just, I just punched myself on the back. 
<laughs> do you, do you, the thing that came to my mind, you know, you know those desk things or five balls lined up in a row. Uh, you really hit. <laughs> 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 oh, we all definitely deserve to be in Avernus, except Opal. <laughs> Don't worry, there's a couple of more sessions where that could change. Um, so Col Colby would suggest that <laughs> we'll drag him down uh, with us. Take watching pairs. Um, him and him and Jacken. <clears throat> Fassel, do you want to watch a Rupert? Sure. And then the other three, Griston, Rhea, and Opal, can take a third watch while, while uh, we rest. I am able to hold uh, watch. I do not sleep, so I stay alert. E excellent. Um, we'll have someone that can help you then. Yes. Rhea and Griston, they can help you. <laughs> then so first watch will be um, Corby and Jacken yeah. <clears throat> it's usually find a nice little place to nestle on up here in the docks of Baldur's Gate <laughs> Corby and Jacken. At the start of the shift, I'm going to tie up his hands and stick a rag in his mouth as well. Inky. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Whatever you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gag him and such. Is, you know, Jacken the whole time's going to lean over, watching strong, stoic, silent type. Nodding. Birdie. Yeah. Birdie. Looks, over, just looks over at you. See, entirely based off of my facial. <laughs> just gonna hmm. exacerbate looking at you and like. I'm you know, trying to make it look like he's projecting a voice to you. He's gonna hear this. Yeah, yes, I, I know what it's like not to be able to talk. My people can't. I've said this. But the person who guided me, who sent that being to you, I believe they, I know they taught me to speak like this. And so nodding his head. Shaking his head is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> Well, if it's something else, you could try one of those two, and I'll point to Rupert and Opal, and I'll, and ask them. Yeah. They are healers. Point to Rupert, he shudders a little. Yeah, I know. Rupert fiddling with a scalpel. <laughs> Looks over at Opal. Shakes and shrugs. Otherwise, have you tried asking? And I, I, I won't say the word, but I'll mouth the name of the uh, person who came to visit him. Yeah. Licks. Vadan Vadakul, whatever it is. I don't even know. Is he... Oh, this... Of course he doesn't. Why would he? Oh, wait, no. Wait, no. No. Yeah. Is he gonna... Pulls out this black book. Silver. Sort of bird on the front with feathers. And just gonna... Goes all the way to the back and... You know, pulls out a pen. And writes on it. It walks up to you and hands it to you as it reads. Didn't say how to contact them.
Where does this book come from? It's a book that's in his inventory. Or are you... That's what I'm asking him. Oh. The book... I don't know itself. You can tell it's very much a... It's got some weird power to it for certain. Some otherworldly shadow fairy type deal. You look at it, you know, look through it. You can see that it is a detailed guide on how one can make a pact with a shadow fell demon in order to gain the powers of the Hexbird. I, I hold the book up. This is something you don't want to show to other people. It is important. My understanding is that this might be a way you could get some communication with the person at the other end you might want to understand a bit more about what they want from you what they like i don't know but my thought is they might be interested in strong feelings yeah and i i'll, I'll hand it back to him maybe think on that of the book. He watches his face has gone to some form of contemplation. If he wakes, knock him unconscious again, and I'm going to go and stand watch on the shelves. Yeah, he gives a little thumbs up. I'll give him a perception check. Cool. Do we get advantage because there are two of us or not? Uh, yeah. You hear a few people coming and going, the clanging of chains, banging of boxes. At some point, it does feel like people are getting dangerously close to the door. But eventually, these pass. You seem to have picked a decent place for now but as the night goes on you can tell that these docks are going to get a bit more busier with the unscrupulous types in the city well pass the shift on to possible yeah and Jack and Tika head down Waking up. One report and one farcible. Do I hear any homicidal thoughts as I wake up? <laughs> no. But you are in some amount of pain. From what? Can I examine myself? Sure. We got yourself the one silver. Uh, give me a medicine check. Because I am an actual doctor, may I have advantage? Ah, uh, sure. I'm feeling generous. Thank you, my good sir. Let me just. 17. You can tell that the source of the pain writhing through your body comes from a. Weird marking that you etched into yourself very recently. And What's the marking? An aberrant dragon mark. Ah. Uh, great, that's still growing. Is ow, ow. Is 
Parzival sort of just wakes up and just, you know, very, very normal sort of reaction, nothing too grand. Uh, mostly was roused by the sound of Rupert being audibly in pain, and he turns to Rupert and just sort of cocks his head a tad and then looks at him up and down. Is everything all right? Uh, mostly. Remember when my hands were sort of freaking out last time we were at the tavern? Yes, do you need help? No, oh, no, no. It's just, I don't think the process was fully done at the time. Uh, Ow. Well, he, like, pauses for a second and just sort of watches him writhe in pain before thinking, I can do the coverage of the watch myself if you need to sort of recover. Oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I may be pushing my late forties, but you know, it's fine, it's fine. As he like, well, like stands up, visibly still shaking a little. Well, take your time, don't push yourself to do things that you don't need to do. This is a moment of peace for us for now. Hey, real quick, by the way, just out of character, this is a- we're classing this as a long rest, right? Yes. Attunement takes a long rest. Takes a short, short rest. Oh. Well, All then right. I'll say that towards the end of the long rest. Uh, how many hours does it need specifically? One. Alright, I'll save that for the end of the long rest. <laughs> Well, actually, no, it has to be during the conscious hours, so, uh... Hmm. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> okay, can you come over here and take a look at this? As he yeah. says through gritted teeth. He will not let go of the shield, but basically hold it up so you can see it. Sort of, like backs up a little bit, not walks away, but sort of just leans back. What do you need me to do? Well, you know culty stuff. Uh, you might know about this. Do I have any history on this thing or anything related to it? Uh, give me a uh, history with disadvantage. Uh, if I can find Candle keeps him. Bag ass, please. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Nothing. Draw blank. It's a very weird looking thing by all accounts, but. You know. You know how we eccentric people do eccentric shit? Yeah. Rupert being a key example, by the way. Maybe it's just a fancy design. Why? I can, I can sense, well, he mentioned when we found it that he was hearing something, right? And he's, like, obviously been talking to it. I can't hear what he's been saying, but he's obviously been saying shit. Is there a way that I can, like, feel a sort of presence on it? I think there's a few spells where one could, but I don't think you have access to those spells. I think you have a feature. What feature are you thinking? I mean, because like, I'm looking here uh, and I ain't too sure. Uh, didn't they try Awakened Mind earlier? On oh, Awakened the... Mind. Um... Keyword. Creatures. Fair enough. That's right. Good. Good shit. Just she shield as object. Uh, I'm trying to think. Well, I'm trying to think. Like, so the consciousness is the shield itself. It's not something trapped within it or like attached to it. That's Assuming I believe. use a wicked mind. 
If that's so, what you want to believe, then sure. I can... I'll attempt to reach out to it just to see if there's something there that I can connect to. Mm. As you reach on out a place in your mind to it. Just a shield. He is sort of puzzled expression encroach on his face and he just leans back. I I have no idea what this is, but listen, all I can tell you is that these forces in which are psychic and, and speak to you from beyond places that I cannot reach. I cannot help you, but I ask you only one thing. Why? Why did you connect with this thing? Wasn't exactly by choice. Oh no, it was you... by choice the way you picked me up. You picked up the shield. You could have very well left it there. Even they understand you're weak, but I make you strong. Considering the cat's out of out of the bag for at least Tarsival, and just because I know Opal is still conscious, I am being like quiet in our conversation. Fuck. <laughs> 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 do you know what? Do you know what? Just because it would be unfair. Opal perception use two stealth. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Because Opal's got the same passive perception as Corby. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Please roll better. Possible. Stealth or is it? in here. I mean, <laughs> Opal, you are oh. more than aware of this conversation going on. Maybe they don't realise how loud they're being. Maybe it's the echoes, but as far as you guys are concerned, you know, Opal's deaf in that year. <laughs> oh, these, two, these two are like your roommates. <laughs> I, I haven't been moving for like the last three hours. Like, after they started their best, they have not seen a single witch, not a breath going on. So, I might as well just be a hunk of metal to them. Just an opal's okay. eyes, this is charging 68%. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so just, anyways, continuing on where I last left off, like, as you sort of like, since the cat's kind of out of the bag, he, Rupert just talks, like, as the sh shield responds, he just says to the shield, yeah, and I can ditch you anytime I like. I, I could toss you in the ocean for all I care. And uh, you think like... that's a good... You think that's a good idea? You think... Do you honestly think you can meddle with forces like this and just throw them away? You would have no clue the things that people have turned into. Things that people have been forced to because they have meddled with these forces that you have no experience in. I'd say I have some experience in meddling. Case in point, would... my hands. Not... not like this. Do you think I cast spells and talk to abyssal creatures because it was something I thought was fun? I just thought it fit your hobby of occultism. I'm not an occultist. I'm a scholar. I read books. Oh. I, no, I just feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. I, I did not live almost all of my life cooped up in a library. It's isolated from everybody who I could have known because it was an aesthetic choice. And I do not say this lightly. I do not say this because it is something that I wish to keep you from because it is, I'm keeping it as a secret. I'm saying it because I do not want to see you 
dead. Rupert, you want to see a magic trick? I'm going to... How lo- Real quick, how long do you think this conversation has been going on for? Five minutes. <clears throat> okay, just making sure, just making sure. I'm going to sort of set the shield down and sort of like l- like push it away to that co- like this space. <clears throat> right, so I'm going to get a wee... De- 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 so in here, like that, just there? Yeah, right there. You can place it down. You hear the voice. Wanna see something funny? No, absolutely not. Wisdom saving throws. Oh, fuck. From? Just me or uh, is it both of us? Let me uh, run it as 20 foot. So. Both of us, right? Both of you is Jack and Anthavius. <laughs> I'm safe, let's go. Jack and also roll the 12. And what did he creep roll? <laughs> Seven. So it does. Um, you watch as Jack and Thavius yourselves get this dread that overcomes this kind of wakes up <laughs> hyperventilating his eyes fixated on the shield you mean kind of Jack and you know, looks and backs off from the shield you yourself are even frightened of the shield far as well the fuck's going on fuck is going on? You can see a major amount of, like, fear across my expression as well, but you can tell that it's not as a result of a spell. This is a result of actual, genuine concern as he sort of just backs up away and runs over to Rupert as well. It's, What's wrong? Did, did something happen? What? I told you, these are things that are, aren't meant to be cast away. You sure we can't cast it away? I think it's a pretty good idea to just Leave it to the senior rot. What do you think will happen to you? I don't know if I can fall away enough from it. These things do not just disappear, Rupert. They will kill you. They will kill you the moment they have their hands on you. What do you suggest we do about it? Cats on the other You want more in your head, Rupert. I can help you if you help me. You will have this power and more. Just kill Krieg. You know what? Is he just bound? I still bulging. Why do you want Krieg so damn badly dead? Fine. Kill him instead. You see, flash in your mind. Forcible. Prove your commitment to me, and I will make you powerful. Kill anyone. How long has the rest been so far? <laughs> as far as I did, you know, as but third rest that 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 it did do. So about two quarters way through the rest. Two quarters. That's four hours. Yeah. Rupert's gonna like so the. F- if I remember correctly, the fear means I just can't move closer to yeah, it. Yeah, only right? lasts a minute. Go on at this point here. Percival, I'm going to need you to listen to me very carefully. 
if I ever pull a weapon on any of you, please shoot me in the face with that weird, weird lightning you do. Okay? I'm not going to kill you because you asked me nicely. <laughs> I never said kill, incapacitate is more what I'm looking for, but anyways. Well, good news, it doesn't want me to kill Krieg anymore. Bad news, it just wants to ki wants me to kill either you or just any other Joe Schmo. You can see that Varsal just sort of like his eyes sort of widen, he just sort of backs up and just... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This... Varsal. Huh? Kill Greek. Is it talking to me? Is that your name? It's sort of just... Uh, just sort of sigh for a moment. And I look at Rupert. And I look at everyone else. And I sort of just like, think to myself for a moment. And I... I vary my options, and I vary everything that could happen as a result, and I just sort of <laughs> walk up to him. Hey, Carcival. What? No, I, out of character. I, I, well, what? not out of what? character, but just letting you know what's happening. Uh, immediately, Rupert's like, I think it's pretty obvious since you're moving towards Krieg. I think it's reasonable to assume that you're about to do something. Rupert's gonna head over and like sort of like scramble on his feet and say, wait, 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 no, 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 don't you dare think about listening to it. If I can't, you can't either. At least I have expertise in listening to these sorts of things. You will do it! I don't even know! It, if it doesn't go after you, it'll go after me, and then it'll go after whoever else! At least I have experience in dealing with it. At least I have some sort of tolerance to these sort of things. I'm a doctor! I don't just fix whatever breaks! It's fine. I have this under control. Also, You're not just a for flavor... Doctor and... Also, just for flavor, I'm just gonna roll deception because Rupert's lying to himself. <laughs> I believe you're my not, own hype. You're not a doctor in the in the metaphysical. I have been training myself in understanding myself in these things for decades. You just came across it in a dungeon. Okay, you may have me there, but but I. I... Uh, if, if you kill him, I'll shoot you? At least I know I have the willpower to not kill you or anybody else. I hate to see it, I hate to say it, but I don't know if I can trust you under the control of that thing. I'd rather you kill me. Listen to me. If it wanted to control me... Oh, sorry, you were saying something? Jagavir stands up at this point, because, you know... Use her over mm. him, sleep it. Oh, you're over him as he just kind of been walking. He's gonna <laughs> piss his hands out. Go, go back to sleep. It's okay. He's <laughs> gonna. Possible? Points oh, sorry, to. Points towards Rhea. Let's discuss this elsewhere. <laughs> Give <him> what? <laughs> points is once more, clasps his hands together, puts his hand by his ear, <laughs> points towards you, points towards Rhea, points towards Opal. Can I insight this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at charades. <laughs> is he? Is the better question. Yeah. Uh, it's very much you can tell you're trying to break up some form of argument, telling you just to go to sleep and get the next get the next people going. <laughs> it's like mm, no, no. Just talk about it later. Trying to sleep. Rupert 
is gonna stay next to Krieg and effectively just sit there, waiting for Tarsival to go to sleep. Tarsival just sort of like looks at it and says, "We'll discuss this at some point soon." Are you sure you want to sleep on this? If it keeps you from making a mistake, I almost did. Yes, very much so. Fine, whatever. <laughs> it's used to sort of just like. It's used to pass it. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Awake and acutely aware of everything that happened so far. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> God. Do you wake anyone else, or I just like kind of like boot up and just go sit around. Actually, if everybody else is asleep, um, I'm next I'm to Krieg gonna... in the shield. <laughs> uh, what's this guy's name again? Thabius Krieg. Yeah. He's still awake, right? He too is trying to get back to sleep. This is the un uneasy Mexican standoff of people trying to sleep. <laughs> uh, is he bound in any way? Uh, yes. I believe he's like hogtied in that regard with something in his mouth to shut him up. I... Like, I, I kind of wait for, for the others to go to sleep. Um... And then I like cut off his cut, cut open his legs, put my finger in front of my mouth, and then I walk him to the other oh, manacled. No. His legs are manacled oh, with no. Jack and handcuffs. Oh, can I can I open up the handcuffs? Your thief tools? Can I find the key? Like I would know where the key would be. Would you? I've been watching the entire time. He's been no, manacled as far as no. you know. Yeah, the entire time. What, what I tied his hands. Oh. His feet were always manacled. I tied his hands together and, and put a rag down in his mouth. Well, I guess I'll just like, kind of like drag him over across the room away from the others. Yeah, let's stealth check. Disadvantage because you're dragging a heavy fat man. <laughs> and the metal manacles. Get fucking rope or something. <laughs> <laughs> you start your dragon. <sighs> Passively. Everyone. Yeah. You know, I'm slightly awoke, and this has been the worst night's sleep anyone's ever had so far. You know, everyone's got like <laughs> kind of awoken of it. His eyes seem to glaze open a little. If anyone wishes to intercede on that one there, as I will not go. be playing Jack in his hands. Go, go back, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. I, I know I just woke you. He needs to go to the toilet. Uh, Wait, where's I don't want to Krieg? The... What are you doing with Krieg? As he's like pull it, pull, pull, pointing his gun at you. I, I'm taking him to the toilet. Do you want him to piss all over you? Probably. That's a, is, is that technically a lie? <laughs> yes. I'm gonna yeah. incite that. I'm gonna incite Deceive that. Deceive that shit. Fuck it! Fuck it, eh? Rupert, again, keeps his gun trained on you. You're a very bad poker face for a gal with no face. <laughs> uh, I, I just wanted to talk to him, okay? Because I don't know why you guys have him hogtied, and I wanted his side of the story so it couldn't be, you know, we can do it the right way and not just kidnap a random person. I want to understand mm. why he's here. You can but talk to him in the morning. Well, I have about two hours to kill. Do you really want me to just sit there with him right 
there? Or do you want me to wake you up by, uh, you know, talking right next to you? Thinking back to a few hours earlier. Yeah, whatever keeps Krieg from moving. Well, can you help him move to the corner so I can just quickly talk to him? I don't want to wake you up. You know, you need your rest. You do look like you need some beauty sleep. The gun does not change at all. <laughs> Rupert's just, like, m like, almost, like, vacantly staring at you with the gun, like, like, it's still groggy, but like, I will shoot you if you move him. Well, I hope you can sleep while somebody's talking next to you. Fine, just keep him here. Okay, okay. And Rupert will, like, lay back down, close one eye, slowly close the other, and will attempt to go back to sleep. Actually, hold on. I can long rest because I only need six hours of sleep, which I have done. Um, I I un ungag uh, Krieg and like very quietly just ask me, why why did they take you? Because the maniacs we saw what they did. The horned one tried to kill me with wine. Your friend there has been colluding with talking evils. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm Rhea, whoops. Rhea. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch! You can insert them if you want. Wait, who, me or...? You. Let's see... Haha! <sighs> Talks a load of shit, but he ain't good at it. Lying through his fucking teeth. You rolled an eight. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you a devil worshipper? I'm an opportunist. The same way you took the opportunity to leave the villa. Well, no, I was kidnapped. And Which... you left at the first opportunity. Wouldn't you leave if I'd let you go as well? Like, what, did, what are you on about? You watched them. You watched them kill a creature. Then you watched as that thing. Camera smash cuts to fucking Grifton. <laughs> Beat an old woman with an inch of her life. And yet, I'm the one in manacles. Think. Think. I'm an opportunity. As are you. I saw an opportunity for power. I took it. You saw an opportunity for freedom. You took it. We are cut on the same cloth. No. Because I seek freedom to be myself. You seek to oppress. I to gain power, to gain control. Over our enemies. Your enemies are... Everywhere. Maybe you're the enemy then. If you have so many people you hate, you might must be doing something wrong. You know what they say, right? It's in the medical books. If everybody is an asshole, you're probably an asshole. Or you need a good night of sleep. Which... <laughs> ironic. Yeah. Not just fourth. Have you ever heard of the abyss? Uh, not exactly. Do you Elaborate. Know the difference between a demon and a devil. I'm not talking 
physical oh. differences. I mean, ideological differences. Uh, aren't they both just red fuckers? <laughs> Isn't it the same so thing? I don't know. And educated. I have lived on the sea for most of my life, which I didn't keep track of how long it must have been, Devil. but it might have been 10 years, might have been 20 years. So I have been more Devil educated on uh... beings of law. A strict set of rules guide their hands. Like us, a sophisticated society where if the rules are not followed, then chaos. You know, watch his hands bound behind his back or still talking because I talk with my hands, sadly. Sounds like they're capitalists. Whereas demons, the demons of the abyss, fight and fight and infight. Killing and murdering for the smallest modicum of power. Still sounds like capitalist. If the gods forbid this were to happen, if the abyss were to stop fighting, or even one day. They could overthrow the world. Okay, but are you Those a devil worshiper? Are the enemies. And so oh, I will need... gather any power I can to make sure that doesn't happen. As should you. By all accounts, you should as well. Hmm. I'm the bad one for wanting to safeguard my people. Hmm. Did you not bring a ship to port? No, he was unconscious for that, never mind. Bloop. He was unconscious for that part. Ignore that. Wreck on you. <clears throat> yeah, looks. We are opportunists. Beings that try to take whatever we can. We're not the same. Stop that. I can just beg you again. If you keep going with opportunist, I'm not an opportunist. I'm here to do what's right. Mostly. Right in my eyes. And Does that Yushi... involve the accumulation of power? Nah. Never thought about it. But you seem like an asshole. And if power were to come to you, would you turn it down? Depends on what the deal is. There's a lot of nuance when it comes to power. Power isn't just one tangible resource. It sounds like you're just... You're such a sly little bitch. You know, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And she just gags him again. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. And she's gonna start knitting. This rolls over. She, she's just gonna gonna start knitting to kill the time. All perception. Oh god. So you are sitting there knitting around. You're gonna hear them. Eventually passing off the, or, or you know rather. Opal, five minutes after that, you hear in your ear, <clears throat> Corby's voice very closely, saying, "First impressions are important." Oh, you spooky bitch! <laughs> It's a shame. <laughs> Trustworthiness is not your first impression. And then he walks past you. Hi, Dad. I was just curious. There's a saying that is a favourite of ours. Curiosity kills the cat. It's a good thing. Um, hold on. Pause. 
Okay. Yoshi. I can't remember. I then um, unpause. Elpo replies with a satisfaction brought it back. Not when I'm shooting in the face, it doesn't. And then I kick Rhea awake. <laughs> you're, on, you're on watch. Huh? You're watching. You're, you're on watch. You're watching Krieg and that one. And I point to Opal. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm hmm. So Rhea, uh -huh. I don't, I don't think we had the uh, the chance to meet. Uh. Um. Uh, I'm gonna put the hand out, still half fucking dead. <laughs> Alright, Matt Mont. Yep. How are Ida? Elturel. Mm. He's the high overseer. Elturel. Yep. Mhm. Mm That's yeah. And you are... I forgot about sorry. zero of that, but, you know. You can get it in there. In the morning. I'm not really working. It's scary that I can just do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um... Oh. What's, what's he on about? You know, points towards Corby. I don't know. I think he didn't like me just talking to the guy that we've hawked for. I still don't fully understand. He seems like a bit of a dick, so I get it. But, uh, you know, I was just curious what he was on about, what his deal was, why he's here. But it seems like he deserves it. So. <laughs> Apparently, um, I do find it hard to believe, even if it's his own admission, given the circumstances we found him in. But. Apparently, he sold the city of El Terrell off to devils or something. I don't know. And he says the box held by Smash Cut back is uh, has the information. But uh, no one has bothered to try. Um. On my way here, I really have no idea. I believe all the answers either lie in the, the box or something else. I genuinely couldn't say. At this point, I'm just here to see what's going on and because, frankly, being with this group means I'm not being hunted. And, well, being hunted isn't exactly fun. Who were you getting hunted by? Uh, the Flaming Fist. Oh. Haven't heard good things about those. I'm not a big fan of authority. Or at least unchecked authority. It's what it uh, is what it is. I mm, I can't say. <laughs> 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 Either way, they've got their hands full, I suppose. As long as I can either get this, get some city back, or clear my name, or something. I it's too early for this. How, well, then I'll leave you be. How about we just uh, go back to sleep? Oh, I'm done sleeping. <laughs> what am I? You know, sits back down and you know watches the eyes just immediately start just lowering like shutters. Just <laughs> after a moment. Is Corby still awake? I'd say he's kind of drifted off again. Is he? No, it takes about five, five, ten minutes or so, and you know, 
judging by it all, we're a bit of keeping quiet for the obvious reasons. Gobby's not a light sleeper, but he's also not a heavy sleeper by any means. Okay. Jackin is the heaviest sleeper here. Mm -hmm. Wish to do anything else with your long resting time? Knitting. Knitting away. I'm knitting. I'm I'm I'm, I'm knitting socks. <laughs> you knit up the socks throughout the rest of this night. Once again, more docks, harbour noises, change, swearing, and you know, maybe you heard a stabbing, maybe you heard a drug deal, who knows? But, I'm, no I'm not our it. job. <laughs> I'm, I'm from the ocean, I'm used to it, it's on the docks. No one pays you enough to deal with this shit. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. We're cool. not even getting paid at all, except for what Corby gives us. Duh, Tiki. Nice long rest. Smash it off as a new day, ladies and gentlemen. And the dogs are going wild. They're ready for a new day. Is that right? I think there's some additional going on at fucking Q's because he said it'd be an hour. I know Osamu had the thing going on. Gark says he thinks he might be here at some point. Be there like an hour, 21. We'll see what happens. But yeah, there's a new down. A new day, and however that song goes, it's a new life for me. She's awake once more in this, and I'm fitness grand pacer <laughs> She's awake once more in this uh, shitty abandoned area. It was a night's sleep, worst you've had to date. Much more worse nights to come. Oh yeah. What are we doing? Is we all come to Jack and once more just gonna hold in the man at me. So Corby comes over and gives Opal a long look, and then motions Harcival and uh, Jack and because they're not here to stay here watching Krieg. And he takes the other, the rest of the group over to Grifton and mimes to Grifton to reach into his pants and pull out truces for the non Americans uh, to pull out and show everyone the box. As he reaches in, like, Opal just looks away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go ahead. Uh, uh. Pulls out the box. You might want to disinfect that. Places it down. This is what he's talking about. <laughs> After your little conversation with him, do you have any idea what it is? Uh, well... No, because he was just talking about being an opportunist to me, I think, the entire time. This guy is just... He can talk and talk, but he doesn't say anything. He's like a fucking politician or something. Yep. Rupert, do you have any idea what this is? Sorry, let me move myself. Actually, what? Oh, let me move myself over. Okay, bang bang. And I am taking the shield with me. Just holding it, not like wielding it. Why are there two Ruperts? Uh, happens whenever I drag and you drag. Don't worry, it's a bit of desync. Sorts itself. So you okay. see once more this. So, so, Rupert, are you stroking your shield like Dr. No's cat from James Bond? Uh, you know what, because it's funny, yes. <laughs> For the sake of comedy, yes. And, uh, uh, please tell me that's been cleaned. Sure, it's been cleaned. I'm just gonna... Damn, son! <laughs> Can you pull this up in, in combat as well, please? No. No, no, you've seen us in combat. We don't we don't roll high in combat. 
I didn't roll above a 10 until this. Yeah, <laughs> come, come <laughs> Scottish Craig. This will be the quickest combat ever, and four <laughs> rounds later, we're still fighting those people. It ain't just that. These creatures are usually like CR half, and it's like, bro, you might be hitting, but you're rolling shit. <laughs> so, so based on that, uh, check or <laughs> Corby hasn't touched it, and he doesn't plan on touching it for some <laughs> obvious reason. If you look closely, I think Corby can sort of almost see a cheese funk rising off the uh, Watch this little fly goes over, flies right and over, it and just drops. It <laughs> yeah. He's, he's uh, okay, so what? Blackened box of iron. It seems almost cold to look at. With numerous engraved symbols upon it. It's very intricate with numerous parts. That, now that I think about it, the only thing that does come to mind is the lament configuration from Hellraiser. Mm. Is there no image for this item? I wish there was, but there's not, sadly. Ah, uh, gotcha. Alright, I was just checking. Uh, so Rupert is gonna. So open his healer's kit, pull out some like, there's probably some like bandage cloth, wrap the fuck out of his hands, and then with using the bare minimum of contact to like hold and look over the box. Even through your cheesecloth hands. This is quite cold. <laughs> and it is... Well, there is some form of image, but yeah. Ah, see, standardized box with some sort of golden inlay on the corners, like a reinforcement. And then in the middle, there's a black box, centerfold cut out in all of them, and then what looks like little mazes. And as you hold it, it is very cold to the touch by all other accounts. Can I roll any sort of check to recall knowledge about this object? Uh, give me history. I'll also put the As... image in Discord for us, uh, taken directly from the book. Okay. I was just curious, especially since I have a history of making items of magical uh, means. Alright, got it. Let's give it a roll. Fuck! Fuck knows. It's very cold. Explicit content? How in the fuck is that explicit content? Huh? Where is... Where's it been? Been down his pants and trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it took something else with it. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that again. This time with a new image that doesn't have my hand. Maybe it thought my hand was up there. Yeah, it thought my hand was something explicit. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Damn, I didn't know he had dick fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm assuming it's not glowing, right? <laughs> yeah, no. That comes later. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Do, any, do any of the oh, symbols okay. on it look religious? Actually, I was about to ask the same thing. They all seem to be infernal ruins, for the most part. Does it seem to be anything to do with any gods or such? Not particular. Corby, could I borrow your eyes to make sure I don't miss anything while I'm looking this over? And uh, would that be investigation or perception to like look it over or see any like pattern? And give me an investigation. I know you're not trying to solve it, so don't worry. Oh, wait, is, oh, wait if I remember right, someone got damaged when they tried to do that? It's also investigation to solve it. Alright, well, then I'll start with that person. Uh, I, does Corby help? You get yes. Guidance. Uh, thank you. And, ooh, guidance. I love both of you. Cor Corby steps away from you. <laughs> that was out of character. <laughs> this is in character. Anyways, 
The, and these are just rolling a d4 for fun. These are infernal. Also the advantage. Whoops, I didn't mean to roll a four. Whoops. <laughs> d4. And then advantage because funny. 23 total. The infernal runes, you say? They look like it, but I don't, they don't say anything to me. <clears throat> None of the runes seem to give any pattern. There is, however, a pattern on the sides of this small little maze that seems to be yearning to be solved. One on each of the six sides of this box. One of those little ball mazes that you gotta use the motions with. Does the investigation I did with Corb yield any helpful information that would help me in solving it? Very intricate. But are the patterns the same, or are they different on each side? They'd all be different on each side from the image I have so, there. So potentially six different patterns to solve. At the same time, probably, because it is a hell box. <laughs> uh, specifically, uh, use the knowledge I have here. It takes an hour to solve. So I would say they're all different. I'd say, you know, taking an hour, yeah. probably one by one by one. Yeah. Do you want me to take a crack at solving it? Do you think you can? I guess... I figure I'll just ask this just in case you can tell me, but... Rupert has a plus three on investigation. Is it even possible? Or I guess with the D4 too. Is it possible with the D4 and plus three? That's not what Corby was asking. It says, do you believe you're capable? Well, I figured I'd ask the DM. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, he casually breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> yeah, DM. Yeah, I, I was just seeing if I could get any information if I could. If not, Rupert has enough hue. Wait, actually, you know, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a hubris roll. I failed it. Rupert thinks he does. I... If you give me some time, I'm gonna give it a shot. I think I can do it. <clears throat> and you said it takes an hour to solve? An hour to solve. Well, I guess that's what's Rupert doing if, if you guys... If you guys want to do anything else while he's solving the puzzle, or trying to at least. I am going to start knitting a new pair of socks this time, <laughs> dear pet. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, help, can, help can be given. Oh, yeah, fuck. I'll be a casting guide. Can I, I think make, I think Corby would help. Yeah. Cor Corby, Corby would end. help you. Okay. And then... Oh, God. Set. Machinations, the mind whirring away to try and solve the puzzle box. Come on, you are top of first grade puzzle class. You can do this, Rupert. <laughs> you hear the <laughs> tail. You, you, you recall that old bard play? That they called six plus one, where you hear someone shout, "What's in the box?" <laughs> Is it a dick in a box? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait till you wait till the sequel, Mother Lover. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so uh, me make my invest roll. Investigation check, advantage, and one d four. Okay, shift click. Damn. Okay, d four. That's Roll 1d4. 1d4. Hold on, please. let me check if I have any features. Hold on, uh, check my features if I have anything I can add to this as an artificer. No, I fucking don't. Not at that level. When do you get <sighs> Flash of Genius? That's next level, ain't it? I believe so, yes. I'll double check this now to be yeah, safe, because that's going to be yeah, yep, uh, level 7. Also, uh, one second. It's at level 7. Alright, uh, you said a wisdom saving throw? 
Wiz you said wisdom yep. saving throw, right? Okay. You start and do you lock one, lock two, three. You're at it for an hour and you start losing mm -hmm. the wings. It does you feel this rising in power for you all watch. Rupert starts to bleed. The eyes, the ears, the nose. As it does, Rupert, this pain <coughs> rives and rocks through you. And you just immediately drop the box and just... God, how much damage was it? Oh, God. Now, actually, Mr. DM, I know I just collapsed, but out of character. Does it mean it's technically partially solved? With how high I roll? <laughs> Maybe? Damn it. Yeah, this will be one and done. Well, uh, well, it's a perfect thing that I'm unconscious, as I gotta go walk the dog now. Real quick. What about dinner and about that? Hmm? It's unconscious. Oh, God. Ah. <sighs> I touch him. He does. By, by the way, it could be says you have to charge him extortionate amounts of fees for this healing. It's the rules he made up. I don't know why. But my fees were only extortionate for Ore Ore. You're unconscious. It's the rules Rupert made up. When you heal him, you have to charge him lots of money. Uh, well, I don't subscribe to that, uh, idea. That seems silly. Well, you obviously follow a better code than he does. I think we figured out that a while ago. Hmm. I'll see. You can at everything that's going on. <clears throat> do you wanna do you wanna hold that that box? Me oh, what just happened? Are you asking me? Yeah, I'm testing if you're opportunistic. No. No, why would I ask a box that has now knocked down knocked out two people? Well, to be fair, they were trying to solve it. So Good question. I think holding it is fine. I think engaging with it is incredibly stupid and unsafe. So let's give it to someone we know won't try that. Grifton, I Grif motion to pick, pick up the box and put it back in his pants. Extends comically the elastic, picks up the cheesy smelling box, <clears throat> <sighs> sets there Keep again, scratches balls. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Thousand yards stare at the wall. Mm hmm. You stood. Oh, well, yep. I look over at Opal. Do you have any idea what that thing is? Or how to use it? No. No one on your ships would know. Ooh. Seeing as where we found it, I don't think it's a ship item. Uh, can I roll history? I doubt I would. But no, would I know anything? Uh, would I have heard anything about it? I generally doubt it. History or religion, your choice. Right, let me. Uh, do, 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 history or religion? History or religion? I have. Neither are advantage. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna recall. I could. I have somebody I could ask, and I like go religion. I kind of go into prayer for any guidance, help, or anything. Uh, box made of infernal iron. Hellish, but 
this is not going to be solved easily. It's not something that really comes to mind either. Maybe you've not spent enough time in those dealings, maybe you've not spent enough time reflecting upon the things that you, you know, you should know you shouldn't know. After all, your clerical studies have only taken you so far. But it's tough. Box is clearly not of this plane. That much is for certain. Not from around here, but that's about all I can tell you, honestly. Stand. The only thought I have is I know some where it could be taken, but they wouldn't want us to open it. They would take it and keep it safe. And where would that be? Outside the city. But I'm not sure I gesture over to the rest of the group. They would all feel the same. I'm not sure it's the best thing. Because if we have to find what's in the box, then that may not help it. Hmm. Is it morning now, by the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Why do we even want this box open? What, what is there to gain here? Hmm. Well, we have some time. We were tasked. We were tasked by the Flaming Fist to search Border's Gate for cultists of the Dead Three, who had been making a rise in their activities, killing people and kidnapping people. Hmm, bad stuff. Mm -hmm. We did that and we found a base of theirs, which we mostly, I believe, cleared out of the cultists there. But evidence there suggested that the cults had links to one of the noble families, the Van Thampers. Mm -hmm. And a witness said that they had sent the Duke, is it Raven God? Raven God? Yeah. To El Talel. But. There's a problem because Elturel has disappeared. Rhea says it's been sucked underground or somewhere else, taken elsewhere. Oh no. So the Fist were concerned with their leader. Gone, dead, missing. So we were tasked to find evidence that the Van Thumpers are involved and deal with it you have uh, two three days to deal with it that is what we were doing when we found you miraculously in their cells underneath their villa hmm. Hmm. but they did not seem to be directly linked to the cult of the dead three Instead, they were a cult of devil worshippers. The Duke herself was found in a shrine with an altar to Zario. Would I know that Zario has links to um, El Terrell? We've been told that, haven't we? Yeah, Rhea specifically said that. Yeah. Or Zavia, one of them. One of them, yeah. Um, 
which is interesting because Zarya and Eltoran are linked in the past, I believe. And that person was in the vault of the Van Thampers Villa, not a cell. And when we talked to him in the Duke's voice, he answered as if they were on friendly terms. He's supposed to be the leader or a leader of Elturel. Why is he here? And then the box. Also, have you seen his shadow? Uh, have I? You stood there. You have seen it, yeah. You stood there as it was projected upon the walls uh, earlier on. Certainly strange. Mm. Dead enough evidence, you'd say? For what? To... I don't trust the fist to treat fairly with us, necessarily. Yeah. Yes. I stand here on this. Dingy. Dank area. After a, yeah, let's be honest, shit night sleep. Things should have went better. A Couples fought. Bit of internal bickering and barking at each other. Weird voices telling you to kill. Attempts made at boxes. <clears throat> I bet we pick this up next week. Mm-hmm. Thank you for hosting today.